All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Uh, yesterday we made a video uh, answering the Muslims about Jesus not knowing the hour. And uh, the, the video is not really taken down. It is still, you can see the link in Patreon. Uh, as we said before, we take it down from my account, but still it is all over. So if you go to Patreon, this is the easiest way. You will see in the front page, you click at the link, you will go to YouTube. So for those who did not watch the video, which made a few hours ago, you can click there and you can find it. Now, three reasons Allah cannot be God. And when I say three reasons, it does not mean really uh, this only three reasons. Uh, we are trying to make the three reasons major uh, headline and those reasons will make us come to the conclusion and uh, I hope Muslims are listening and uh, any one of them uh, he feel like those reasons are not accurate please feel free you can call me anytime just let me know and I will open my sky for you so you can call me when we speak about reasoning we as a Christians we don't speak about reasoning the same way Muslims they speak about it Reason in Islam is silly. As an example, because I pray to Allah, Allah will give me 80,000 little boys to serve me. That reason alone is disgusting. I mean, what kind of reason? Because I believe in you. You abuse 80,000 little child. How that can be even a reasoning? The Bible said that from their fruits, you shall know them from their fruits people they can talk about reasoning as much as they wish we can fabricate our reasoning for anything we do but the major point is the fruits people they talk good they do bad people they say something they do the opposite people they claim something but they are not so the fruits is what is going to judge what Islam is about The Islamic fruit, not only disgusting, it is inhumane. Because a human, uh, in order to, to be called a human, he have to practice a humanity. And, you know, to practice a humanity, that means you have to act like one. Islam does not want us to act like one. Islam teaches us to revenge, to kill, to rape, to kidnap, to ask for ransom, to torture, to crucify, to cut fingers, to cut hands, to cut even tongues, even, you know, to put nails in the eyes. What is a human in that? And yet the Muslims and their reasoning, they say to you, Allah is the most merciful. I'm sure more of you, many of you heard Muslims saying that Allah is the most merciful. So let us discuss together why and how Islam cannot be from God. We will take it easy, step by step. First thing, the God of Islam is a sexual God. Everything in this religion is based on sexuality. And then, this sexuality is... Uh, uh, been given to anyone who follow Muhammad but Muhammad he been given a special sexual privilege special sexual privilege to the point Muhammad he claim that he is the only one Allah allow him to have more than four wives he is the only one he can marry or have a woman in bed without permission of her parents he is the only one who do not need to pay dowry he is the only one who do not need witnesses to, cons to consume a marriage, to consummate a marriage. Well, you know, in Islam, if you don't have witnesses, there is no marriage. He is the only one, if his eyes fall into a woman, which means he like her, her husband must divorce her immediately. And 
And here we notice immediately that there is no reason for anyone claim that he is following God. To say that because Muhammad is a prophet, you have to give him your wife. And not only that, Muhammad convinced the Muslim men that because he is a prophet, Allah gave him a special sexual power to the point Muhammad he can go and have sex with all his wives in one night. <clears throat> and here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. What is that proven to us? Remember, we said from the beginning, from their fruits, you shall know them. So Muhammad tried to convince us that he have a fruits of a prophethood because he can have sex with all his women in one night. And Muhammad, he told his followers that he have the power of 40 men. Some hadith, it says 30 men, as we see in the screen. Chapter, Sahih al-Bukhari, chapter having sexual intercourse and repeating it and engaging with one own wives and taking a single bath after doing so. So Muhammad, he slept with all the women and the Muslims are so proud, supposedly, that Muhammad, he is so good in boom, boom. And this is the proof that he must be a prophet of God because how he can do that? Anas ibn Malik said, the prophet used to visit all his wives. The visit to do if, as you see, this is about sexual intercourse, the title, not visit to say hello. So he used to visit all his wives in a round, one round, hmm? one round. And during the day and the night, doesn't matter. And they were 11 in numbers. I ask Anas, had the prophet the strength for it? He said, we used to say that to the prophet, he was given the strength, strength of 30 men. So, and you know, if you have my book, uh, Six and Allah, you will see the Muslims believe that Muhammad have the power or he will be given the power of 4,000 men in heaven. 4,000 men. 4,000. So, the logic of Islam is, that if you are a prophet, then you should be very powerful in bed. Prophets only can do that. And here you notice that this is a very, very sexual cult. Same time, all the reference prove that Muhammad, he cannot even have sex. Which mean there is something fishy in the logic they are talking about. How his wife, she say in different place, as we see here, that Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex. But in fact, he never did. So, and the Muslim, they say, oh, he was bewitched. He was bewitched. Well, he was bewitched, he was not. That will not change the fact that Muhammad was lying about how many women he was able to sleep with. Read carefully with me, please. This is Sahir Bukhari, as you see. Aisha, she said, and this is the wife of the Prophet, not his neighbor. The Prophet continued for such a such a period of time, imagining that he had intercourse, sexual intercourse with his wives. In fact, he did not. And here we have another problem. Muhammad not only his miracles has no witnesses, even his sex, there's no witness for it. I mean, I understand that Muhammad is a false prophet. And he went to the seven skies, but nobody saw him. He came back, nobody saw him. He went to Jerusalem, nobody saw him. Nobody talked to him. He saw there 10,000 prophets and each one, sorry, 124,000 prophets and each one of them, he have a donkey with him. And nobody saw the donkeys and nobody saw the prophet. Because imagine, 
you know, a historian, they will report, I mean, Jerusalem was not empty at that time. They will report that we saw 124,000 prophet, 124,000 coming to Jerusalem in that day, and nobody saw them. I mean, this is bigger, this is bigger than the population of, of Jerusalem at that time, maybe 10 times. Not only that, Muhammad, even his sex, have no witnesses. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Which means he is not having sex. There's a movie, it's called The Perfect Host. You can watch it because that story is exactly about Muhammad. This guy, he writes letters to himself. He hears voices, he talks to himself. He invites people to his dinner, but there's nobody there in the table. And then he has sex with them one by one. But there's nobody there. So how we can trust Muhammad the one they are saying that he have a power of 30 men and they are trying to prove to us the logic is Muhammad he have the power of 30 men because he is a sponsored by God and then we find that Muhammad cannot have sex and not only that Muhammad he said that he was the most weak person between mankind in what in sex and then I invoked my God Allah and he sent me a dish. It's called al kufait I ate it and since then I get the power of 40 men The miracle of the shish kebab The miracle of the shish kebab Have you ever heard of such a thing? <clears throat> so always when we talk about uh, a prophet, Muslims, they have different view of what it's called a prophet. A prophet, he have to be a, a person who is a, uh, uh, good in sex uh, um, He have to sleep with all women in his way his private part should not go sleep uh, it, uh, Otherwise you are not a prophet You cannot be a prophet I want to show you this hadith before we move on <clears throat> And actually, I will use the translation of uh, Google because it's in Arabic. Sadly, you don't, guys, you don't know Arabic. Uh, but still, it will work. I'm trying to open the source. For some reason, the website is not working. Okay, let us see. Mm. Okay, let us see this one. Oh, I know this website is not opening. Let us see another one then. Because I don't like to say something and I don't really show the reference. You know, the Muslim they will say, well, he just said something, he did not prove it to us. Shabakat Sahab al Salafiya, the group of Sahab for the Salafi. Salafi is those uh, ISIS and etc. Hadith number 4126. كنت من أقل الناس في الجماع حتى أنزل الله علي, علي الكفيت فما أريده من ساعة إلا وجدته وهو قدر فيها لحم I was the most weak person in sex until Allah he sent me الكفيت which is let us use translation all right Uh, 
uh, translation it's very funny uh, anyway here it says that <coughs> uh, I was the more the last people in intercourse enter God uh, send me al kufate and it was and I want it in an hour I found it which mean anytime he want to have sex Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab and then here he says and after that uh, I get the power of 40 men all right 40 men 40 men was Muhammad telling the truth that anytime he want to have sex Allah will send him a dish of shish kebab and after I he ate it he get the power of 40 men so here we notice the sign of a prophethood is so clear because if Muhammad is not a prophet you explain to me where he got his dish which making him dish of kebab which will make him have the power of 40 men that's impossible that is a very clear proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God so for those who suspect that Muhammad is not a prophet of God obviously you've been defeated and Muhammad he proved to us with extreme powerful reference and miracles that he is uh, a prophet of God forget about this guy Fahim he's an idiot he will not call me he will he will play songs for me so now what is additional to that will make Muhammad a prophet Muhammad married children and you notice here that Muhammad he have obviously a mental issue otherwise what will make a man at the age of 54 even to be interested for a second in a child she is six years old in the Islamic calendar which means she is five years old in our calendar what we share together me and the child if I am 54 and Muhammad is uh, sorry and Aisha she is six years old or five years old what we share together what we would do together here you notice that what Jesus said clearly from their fruits you shall know them this is a golden by the way this is not not golden this is beyond gold as a wisdom to to always uh, uh, use it in your life you want to know a person the fruits people talk good you know they dress good they smell good but they might be evil from their fruits and we will show you the fruits of Muhammad Muhammad not only he married five years old child which is six years old in the Islamic calendar and the Muslim tried to cover up this is at that time children's they were mature this is Saudi Arabia my friend Saudi Arabia is still there and it's still hot and actually now we have more global warming according to who claim of a global warming children's are still there is a children's we can go right now to Saudi Arabia and we can look at the five years old girl still she is a child so stop fooling yourself now Muhammad not only he liked to have sexual relationship with the children's proven to us that he is a perverted man he was encouraging his men not to marry women but to have children's and the purpose is to play with them as you see here a story about a person who his name is uh, Jabir Jabir he was going in attack he's a thief like Muhammad he attacked the neighbors and now they are coming home so Muhammad he noticed Jabir that he is like uh, rushing in his uh, in his camel or donkey so he said to him Jabir have you uh, uh, have you married he said yes he again the Prophet said a virgin or previously married look at this question a virgin or one previously married here we need to stop a little bit what is the business of a man to know to ask you if your wife is a virgin or not I mean what about we uh, you ask me to bring my wife and she will take off her panty and you check it out 
Are you getting what I'm saying, guys? What is the business of a prophet of God? To ask you if your wife a private part is a brand new or it is not. What's his business? The man is married. He did nothing wrong. This is what you need to know. He is not committing adultery. He is not sleeping around. He is married. So what's your business? Why you want to know if she is a virgin or not? Here you notice the not only how silly he is, you notice how low he is. Imagine today you are walking, you met a friend and he claimed to be the biased man, the best, the best man in mankind. And he asked you this question, is your wife uh, vagina is brand new or sh she was married before? And you look like, huh? 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 What, you, what you said? So if Muhammad is a prophet, why is asking such a stupid, disgusting question? What's your business? And look, the advice after that, he said, the man, he said to him, oh, a one who was previously married. Look at the evil, the devil. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Why? Why don't you marry a young girl so you can sport with her? What? What? And she could sport with you. What? Here you notice the proof of the prophethood. The prophet, he was not accepting this. I mean, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? You marry the woman, she is not a virgin and she is not a child? So you will play with who? Hello? The sickness of Muhammad reached beyond the sickness we knew. This guy is encouraging men to have sexual relationship with the children because they play with them. They are fun. So no, no way that Muhammad is not a prophet. Here you see the wisdom and here you see the dignity and here you see the amazing, decent man Muhammad who is making a man hate his wife just because, because now the man, if you listen to Muhammad, he will say, you know what? Muhammad is right. Why I want to do this? Uh, I was stupid. Why I marry a woman? She is a widow. Huh? Huh? I will go and get a child. Okay, prophet, I'm going to the supermarket. I will grab a child. She is six years old. If this is what make Muhammad a prophet, that means this religion is beyond stupidity. The man, he was a decent man, more than Muhammad. He said to him, well, you know what? My brother, he had, he, he died and he left many little children for me. He left nine or seven daughters behind him. And I, therefore, did not approve the idea of bringing a girl. I prefer to bring a woman. Do you see what, what we're talking about, guys? I prefer to bring a woman, not a child. We have I have already nine children to take care of them. I need a woman to take care of them, not a child, and that will make them ten children. That is the prophet. Oh, forget, you know, I did not say peace upon him. Too much peace. So, sexuality in Islam is beyond stupidity. Now, there is sexuality in earth where Muhammad, he raped, he, you know. What about Muhammad allowing a man and women to have party for fun and just make a payment business? Any man, any woman, they would like to have sex. The prophet, he allowed that for three days, three nights. And if you like to increase, you can increase. Yet the Muslims, they say that Muhammad was Abrahamic. And Muhammad, he was having the same message of Moses and the same message of Jesus, etc. Now, which of those 
prophets, he claim, even if they claim that Jesus was a prophet, he says you can rent a woman for one night stand or three night stands. And what is the logic behind renting a woman? And not only that, the Muslims, they went so far. And even they agree. They don't deny. They agree that Islam allow renting women. And not only that, they say that in their like explanation, they say, well, this is a rental for women. You see, we heard of renting a car. We heard of renting... Maybe you can rent a cow, you know, I don't know, like to, to dig in the ground, to put your seeds, as villagers they do. But to rent a woman? Yes, you rent a woman. This is alislam.org. The four pillars of muta. Islam is a very organized religion. Muta means sexual pleasure, legal one, but legal. You marry a woman, they call it Mary. You you make a contract with her that she is my wife for an hour or two or a day, and then you have to pay her. You have to make an agreement first. Uh, how much? For how long? And when we start? You know, like now, from now until tomorrow, as an example. And how much? All right? So there's four pillars of muta, and the women, she have to agree, and she have to repeat after you, after you announce all... Uh, uh, the details of the contract she have to announce and say I agree to sleep with you for three hours for the for, for the exact uh, uh, equal money of let's say ten dollars by saying that she is rented now this is the Quran chapter 4 verse number 24 where Allah supposedly talking saying that a Muslim man he can rent a woman now am I using a wrong word or this is what even the Muslims they use. Read carefully with me. In some work, a special term applied to women who practice participate in muta, which is mustajara. Mustajara translation is rented women. <laughs> so if you don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet, here we go. You got to prove that Muhammad, he is a businessman and he believed that a woman who own a private part, she should make an investment and use it and make money from that private part. For exchange of sex, the woman, she is, it is lawful for her to get paid. The prophet is a very decent man. Even in some hadith, he says that the man, he should pay her before her sweat is dry. And you know what I'm talking about when I say sweat. So, in some work, its terms apply that women who participate in such a muta, musta'jara, which means rented women, muta is considered as a, of a rental because in general, man's basic aim of this kind of marriage, I quote marriage, this by the way it doesn't say marriage, it says nukah, nikah means to F, is sexual enjoyment of the women. And in return of his for his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property. So, if you don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet, I think now you have enough reasons to believe that Muhammad is a prophet. I think it's so clear. Aren't we clear already? What do you want more? While Jesus was saying, if your eye deceive you, can take it off? Muhammad, he was saying, go and rent women. Go have sex with the children. And as you see, I'm not even showing my own. This is not my website. This is not my words. I'm not even using Google to translate to you. This is their website, alislam.org. Al 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 the four pillars of muta. You can search it and you can read by your own. So what make Muhammad a prophet? Forget about sexuality. Forget about it. What else? So Muhammad have a very bad ethic. And that's obvious. Theft, stealing, killing, sexual, crazy stuff. It is sick.
sexual God. Not only Muhammad is a sexual man, Allah himself is a sexual God. What is my reward if I go and join Islam? Allah will give me special women for sex. And not only that, Allah, he will import from the heaven, sorry, from hell, women who they are hookers. Why they are hookers? Because those are expert, not like a normal woman. Maybe she will not even know what to do to make a man happy. Muhammad, he knew what he is doing. He is a promise in his men that Allah will give you women who they are imported just for you from the middle of the hell. Which means she will be a hell of a woman. Muhammad, he said, swearing by Allah, there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell. And what is those inheritance? What is special about them? Read carefully, please. The, those who they are going to be inherited by, by you from hell, they have a special unique features. All of them whom they will have desirable front passages. And I don't want to be rude and tell you what is the front passages he is talking about. I think you got the idea already. So Muhammad here is convincing us that you should believe in us. Don't you want to get women imported from hell, hookers, who they can make you so happy in bed? And they have, not only they are hookers, they are having very nice, desirable front passages. But are we done? No. Now, Muhammad, he promised you a lot of women for boom, boom. What about you able to do the boom, boom? So Muhammad, he did not forget that part. So he said, and he will have a male member. You see the Muslims here translating male member, and I'm not going to use the bad language, but it's not a male member. It is the P, you know. So he have a male member which will never go soft, will never sleep. Boing. You know, the women, they come like, boing. And now we have enough proof that Muhammad and his God, they must be a very highly in ethic. And they are very decent, both of them. You know, Imagine you have a party, whatever your party is, let us say a birthday party, and you invite me, and then I bring you a porn video. Well, everybody bring what, who he is, correct? The gift, the gift, present the, the one who gave the gift, who is he? My gift to you, presenting what is I think about. So if Allah gift to us is boys and women, and women, they have big breasts, and even in different hadith, Muhammad, he said that women, they will have one mile ass, which is so beautiful. And make, make sense. I mean, your wife, she have one mile ass. I mean, don't you want to have that? All of us, we like big TVs, big screen TV. Let us be honest. So the gift here of Allah, because remember, this is a gift from Allah, not a gift from Muhammad. If this is the gift of the decent God, what kind of a decent God he is? I, as, I, I, I am sure now that Allah, he have like a millions of hookers around him and he is naked and his private part is lulu lulu. If this is what God he gave me, so what kind of God this God is? And here you notice that the sexual God, he always play with the mind of a human being. This is what the devil does. All men, they like to have a lot of women, especially if they are just into sex, not into love. Otherwise, God, he created Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Eve's.
Is that correct? And here you notice the contradiction of a story Muhammad he stole from the Old Testament. Muhammad he claimed that yes, there is Adam and Eve. So what happened? God he created Adam and Eve, and now God he promised a new Adam and Eve's. To the point in one hadith, Muhammad he claimed that you will have 80,000 little boys in your heaven who they are extremely white and the Muslim they claim that they will serve you 80,000 little child in the heaven Muhammad he said the least of the people of paradise in position is the one with 80,000 servant and those servants are boys and 72 wives so when we speak about muhammad promising us 72 wives this is for the bad muslim this is the least this is the one who did not do jihad this is the one who did not pray this is the one who just say shahada the least the last one who entered heaven the, the, i mean the, the, this is the loser supposedly this is the loser the one who did not have the he have the worst grade almost he was kicked out from school this loser he will have at least 80,000 little boys who they are white like pearl too. What do you think Muslims? Here we notice that Allah is a sexual God and actually Allah he was always a sexual God if we go right now and look at this picture I will put in the screen This picture is nothing but the private part of the God of fertility. If you ask a Muslim, why the black stone look like this? He have no answer. I mean, what, what is that? What is this exactly? Hmm? The black stone was a sexual private part of a female who God, he gave it to us to fertilize our children. The women, they used to go around the Kaaba totally naked and men too. And the women, they do that when they have their period. They put their hand in their vagina and then they place their hand full of blood from their period and they place it inside the black stone. And then she make her wish and her prayer to Baal, the God who will fertilize her private part. And then the men, they come after that and they scratch their penis inside the black stone. And this is supposedly how your wife who is not able to have a children, she will have a child. And by the way, we can show the reference. And if you have my books, you can see the reference yourself. You can go and get sex and Allah. Even they believe that the black stone was white and the sin of mankind made it black. Why? Because women who they are not able to have babies, according to the Arab, obviously she did something wrong. The God is upset from her. So she go there, she place her hand full of blood from her private part inside the black stone. And that what made the black stone supposedly black. It was white. The black stone is exist before Islam. The black stone is exist before after Islam. The Arab they kiss the black stone before Islam. Muhammad he kiss the black stone after Islam. The Arab go around the Kaaba before Islam. Muhammad he do around the Kaaba. Around, you know, it's the same cult. So what the adjustment Muhammad he did, he added Christianity, Judaism, Sabi, and he learned from here and there and there because he was mixing with many people in there, and he took from all of them and he added to his cult. So now we have the pagan Arab which is flavored with some from Christianity, some from Judaism, some from the Sabian, etc.
uh, you see in the chat a Muslim saying to me you are a liar why you don't call me and I will show you what I just said can you hey Hassan how are you and I will make you read it yourself is that a good deal guys the Muslim who is saying to me you are a liar I will show you the reference from your Islamic books how women they touch their private part full of a blood place it inside the black stone who they are may they may they any muslim there hmm. the second we challenge them they go they play dead let it go now we continue we continue forget about sexuality forget about sex for now let us talk about silly stupid things Muhammad nobody can beat him with being silly uh, sorry I should say dr. Muhammad Dr. Muhammad, he learned from his God how the baby produced. And as long as he is so good in sex, so for sure he knew how it happened. The Prophet said, and remember, not me, and this is Sahih. The Messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which one of them comes first? The child who resembled the parents. And by the way, this is a proven scientifically accurate according to the Muhammadan. But only idiot, they will believe in such a garbage. And this is why if I ever get married, I will never, I will be sure, excuse my language, I will be sure I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my son to look like me. I mean, that's disgusting, man. So now we solve a problem. I, I, I was planning not to get married just for this reason. I don't want my, my children to, to, to be upset from me. Like, what you did to us? I mean, look at you, and we look like you now. But now I know the secret. All what we need to do, I marry a beautiful woman, and I make her come first, and that's it. The story is over. Here you notice addition, additional side of the stupidity of the fruits of Muhammad. Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He is a doctor, Muhammad, now. A woman, she came to Muhammad. And Muhammad, because he is a private consultant for sex, he have a special clinic. Umu Salim asked Allah Messenger about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which a man sees. What does that mean exactly? Uh, last time I saw a dream, a, a dream, I saw myself in the beach. Did you see yourself in the beach? No. Look how trashy what we are talking about. A woman, she is coming to the Prophet telling him she was touching herself last night. And then the Messenger of Allah, he said, he's ready to answer. He knew, he knew he's Dr. Muhammad now. If she sees that and has a charge that what her private part has this a charge then let her perform a bath so the women asking should i wash it or not i mean what is that what is this um Salama, the wife of the prophet said oh, 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 oh what does that really happen which means the wife of muhammad she never have orgasm she is asking really a woman she can have this charge and here you see Muhammad get busted how the Muslim they say to us that the Prophet used to have sex with all his wives in one hour Fisa he do boom boom and he have the power of 30 men but yet his wife she cannot believe it that the women she have this charge that means she never have one like what the prophet wife she is watching like what really this happened a woman she have this charge the prophet here he jump he said yes yes 
he, yes. And now he explained to her in a scientific way because he's a doctor. The water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Okay, hold on. Isn't she a woman herself? How come she never have that water? And isn't she your wife? So Muhammad, he have to teach his wife, who obviously she never have orgasm, that, oh, yeah, yeah, the women, she have that. She have uh, water there. Hello? So how you say to us in different hadith that Muhammad, he used to have sex with all his wives in one hour? And secondly here, why those women, they have yellow water? Obviously, Muhammad, he is making them infected. What? Why it's yellow? Is that a pee? Is that an orgasm or this is a pee? Orgasm which is yellow? Obviously, Muhammad, he slept with women who they are infected because of him. So, Muhammad... Because he's a doctor, he knew everything. And this is why I meant, or what I meant by Muhammad being silly. He is a silly to the point, he claimed that he have knowledge, and his knowledge is coming from God. And then he go into details, as we see in the following. Now let us see how many of you would download this video. Let us see. Muhammad even knew how long the drop of a semen or a sperm stay inside the women? Muhammad, he said, not me. Don't be upset from me, Muhammadan. And this is Sahih. When a drop of semen remain in the womb of the women, in the womb, for 40 or 50 days. For 50 or 40 days? What? Semen. Stay inside the women for 50 days. What is that? The vacation of two years contract? I, I don't know what he suffered from. I'm not expert in, uh, in, in uh, STD uh, diseases. Maybe you can ask some doctors. So, the the sperm... The semen stay in the womb for 40 or 50 days. But that's absolutely false. Semen can live a maximum, maximum of five days. What this guy is talking about? So here we notice another side of Muhammad. Muhammad the genius, Muhammad the doctor, Muhammad the, the etc. And he claimed, and by the way, this is confirmed in his Quran too, because in his Quran, Muhammad he claimed that the baby is created from a sperm which will transform into a dead blood. If we go in the Quran, we find the following. And we will show it to you in the screen in a second. And the funny, the Muslims, they have thousands and thousands, if not millions of videos trying to convince you that the Prophet, he is, a, the Quran is a book of science. And this is why actually I made a book, it's called Quran in Science, and it's translated in many languages. You can read it. Which is getting Muhammad and his lies busted. Chapter 23, verse number 14. <laughs> Let us read together. And we will choose a famous <coughs> Islamic translation. Uh, excuse me, my voice is tired. Too much talking. I did not even sleep enough. <coughs> Then we had, then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Here you notice that the, the, the author of the Quran, he immediately, he delivered a big poo, poo because the sperm transformed into not, nothing and it's not the, the, it's not the sperm who will become a baby. The sperm will activate the egg, activate the cell of the egg and deliver the DNA and that's it, it's gone. 
The Quran claimed that the one who will grow, will transform, is the sperm. And the first stage of the sperm, after it's going inside the women, as we showed you, is going to stay inside the women for 40 or 50 days. In case you forgot. 40 or 50 days. So now the sperm going inside the women for 40 or 50 days and then after the 40 or 50 days is going to transform into a dead blood for the same period. Actually, in different hadith, he says the same. And actually, we can find it. So Muslims will not say. I'm making things up. <clears throat> Um, read it here we go and this is from Al-Bukhari and Muslim the message of Allah and look the Muslims here always they, they say the truthful for sure the truthful he is saying the truth I mean all of this is proving to be true he was saying the creation of you human is gathered in the form of a semen in the womb of his mother for 40 days then it becomes a clinging uh, for a similar period, but translation here clinging is a lie. It says alaqa. Alaqa is the same as translated here as a congealed dead blood. That's why they try always to fool you with the translation. It is a clot of a dead blood. So he will be for the same similar date, 40 days, as a congealed dead blood. Similar period. And then it became a lump or of a flesh for like that which means another 40 days so until now we have how many we have 120 days 40 days as a sperm 40 days as a dead blood and 40 days as a lump of a flesh and then allah he sent his angels who breathe the life into it so all this time the baby have no life he have no life and then the last thing the angel, uh, he will ask Allah, uh, shall I make him male or female? <laughs> male or female? Here again, you notice that Muhammad is not only, uh, where is the egg? Uh, Muhammad, he ate it. I mean, what we can do? There is no egg. Either Muhammad or Allah, he ate the egg of the woman. Maybe at that, at that time, women they don't have egg. Um, maybe, you know, my grandmother, she told me that she don't have eggs. You know, she wake up in the morning, she see no eggs underneath of her. So she don't understand what, 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 what eggs. So maybe Muhammad, because he did not see the eggs, he think they are not there, you know, because he was expecting maybe when you say eggs, that she will lay eggs like a chicken. So... Yeah, somebody he made it made them an omelet at that time. Maybe they used to target women eggs and eat them. Maybe the fox he eat them. You know, you never know. Uh, but for sure, the prophet is telling the truth, and this is absolutely scientifically accurate. Now, here we have a problem. Before we continue, We spoke about science. Uh, we, you know, we do not talk about everything in science. I mean, we are just giving examples. Otherwise, it's endless. Muhammad, he claimed that the birds, the birds are in the sky because Allah, he fell them from falling down. The stars are hold by Allah from falling down. The sky is hold by Allah from falling down. So if you want to talk about science, I mean, it's endless to see how stupid the Quran is. Why the as an example, why the bird they can fly in the in the sky? Chapter 16, verse number 79, chapter 67, verse number 19. Allah He gave us a very clear reasoning. Don't you look at the birds held the, uh, poised in the midst of the air in the sky? Nothing hold them up but the power of Allah. So why the sky, they, why the birds, they can be in the sky like this? Because Allah is holding them up from failing. And by the way, uh, I, I, I can witness for that. 
so who is holding the F-16 of, of, uh, of America from falling down? It's Allah. Who is holding the Israeli IDF air, air, airplanes? Allah. If you have a balloon and the balloon is flying in the sky, who is holding it there? Allah. And this is a proven to be scientifically accurate. And I witness for that. Islam, you do not need any witnesses to witness for Muhammad. You witness without witnesses. Muslims, they never saw Muhammad. They never heard of him, except they are saying there's a guy. His name is Muhammad. And by the way, even his name is not correct. His real name is Qatham. But Muhammad, he says something. That's it. You know, you witness that this is true. And then you make videos about it, trying to say that this is absolutely correct. Now we go back to the Hadith. One of the reasons I find that Islam is not valid, additional to the reasons we said, is the foolishness. Foolish. Foolish Quran, foolish logic. And in, in the front of us, we will see one of the foolish Quran and foolish, foolish logic of Muhammad and Islam. If you read the rest of the story here, Muhammad, he claimed the following. That Allah, he will send an angel who will breathe life and then the angel is commanded to record four things about it about what about the new the baby before he's born his provision its term of life in his word its conduct and whether he will be happy miserable by the one beside whom they are all the true you no know, true god muhammad is making an oath here this is very serious verily verily one of you would perform the action of the deliverers of Jannah, which means heaven, until there is not there is only one cupid between him and the heaven, and then what is uh, uh, foreordained, what is written by Allah, your destiny, would come to pass, and he would perform the action of the inmate of hell until he enter it. So look at this stupidity. Muhammad he claimed that you are spending all your life doing good deeds. Everything you do. I mean, you are a very perfect man and you will go to heaven. But perfect man in Islam, by the way, it means you ride the neighbors, you kidnap their girls, you, you rape the Jews, you kill the Christians, you attack the Hindus, etc. This is the good deeds. So you are doing all the deeds Allah he asked you for. And then, uh, almost you are in the door of the heaven. Let me draw that for you. You know, I cannot resist a drawing. Since I was a kid, I'm a very, uh, very famous artist. So this is Abdul. Any Abdul of those who they are with us. This is Abdul. He have a sword in his hand. Allahu Akbar. And he have a turban in his head. Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Jihad, Allahu Akbar. So he killed, 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 and almost now he is in the front of the gate of the heaven of Allah. He's almost here, almost here, and then what is written by Allah will take over. And then he starts switching backward, doing the act of people of hell. So instead of going to that gate of heaven, which he was almost like 50 centimeters far away from it, now he will go to the gate of hell. This is the gate. And he will enter it. Why? Because Allah, he wrote his destiny that he will go to hell. And here we see the stupid logic of this cult. If at the end of the day, what Allah he wrote is going to take over, so why I need to do any work? Are you getting my point, guys? Why I need even to convert to Islam? If Allah he wrote for me, I will be in heaven or in hell, and it doesn't matter what I do, because what he wrote for me will take over at the end. 
so here we speak about not only the stupidity of this cult about science and garbage and even history is wrong even names Muhammad he could not cor call cor correctly or quote foolishness here we have a foolish prophet spreading foolish propaganda or foolish agenda or foolish uh, 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 reasoning making us believe that is written for us already we will go so why I want to do let us go here here I want to have party it is written for me where I will be and Muhammad here he switched again he gave us the opposite direction example and he said and there is one among you who do the act of people of hell so what you are doing you spend your life doing the act of people of hell the first one it was what it was the opposite a guy who is doing the act of people of heaven and then he got screwed he arrived to the door and then Allah he said to him ah, 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 ah. I wrote for you after destiny so you go back to the gate of hell and you start doing the act of people of hell and you go to hell here the story is different and one of you would perform the action of the inmate of hell I like it the inmate this would like to go into jail and here inmate for heaven too until there is only one cupid between him and hell like this guy let us, let us draw this to you again you know I like art what I can do I mean I cannot resist this uh, uh, this uh, story is uh, it's very artistic and it's very emo emotional so now this guy <clears throat> Mr. Green he is doing the act of people of hell he is uh, not killing Christians, he is not attacking the Jews, he is not doing jihad, he is not attacking people on Ramadan, and he did not put any bomb in any church yet. So now, he walk in the direction, let us make it red, until he is almost in the door of, he of, of hell, because he did not do all the, <clears throat> the bad, ugly stuff, which for us, but for Islam is good stuff. So, he is now going in the direction of hell. He did not pray to Allah, he did not do jihad. He did not flag videos of CP, which is to you heaven. So almost he is in the gate of hell. Hmm? And by the way, uh, here we go. This is the door. You know, you can open it. I told you I'm very good in drawing. You don't believe me. So almost he is there. There is only one cubit between him. It's like less than 90 centimeter. And then what Allah wrote for him will take over. He arrive here, almost he will enter the door. And then what Allah he wrote over will take over. And he start getting away from the door of hell. All the way. Until he find himself inside the door of heaven. Because Allah, he wrote his destiny to be there. Alhamdulillah. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? So why you pray? Why you do hajj? Why even you give donation, you Muslims? Why the Quran says to you, the one who give a good, do good deeds, you will go to paradise and have no worry. If at the end of the day, what is written will take over. This is religion and this is God. Where is justice? Where is justice and where is logic? I am going to open my Skype in case there is any Mohammedan would like to call me to give them a chance and opportunity uh, to answer. All right, we are almost in Skype.
uh, Skype taking long to load because I forgot to say inshallah before I open it. Another stupid reasons Muslims they come with. All right, my Skype is open. Anyone? If there's anyone would like to call me, feel free. Take some what? Okay. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give me something? You see, if you don't want to talk about anything from what we spoke about, feel free. Call me and give me any reason to believe in Allah. Anything. Here we go. We will go with you. Who is a Muslim want to show us how and why anyone should believe in this crazy cult? And to know what we discover that everything the Muslims they say to us about Islam it was a lie. There's no truth in there. Fabrication. Anyone? By the way, if you speak Spanish, don't forget please to tell your friends about my Spanish book because only few people knows about it still. So if you speak Spanish, please share with your friends. Tell them that there is a book. My book in Spanish is already out. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to call us? Anyone? Again, for those who did not watch my previous video, which I made just a few hours ago, we took it down from my channel as usual, but it is in Patreon. You can go to the front page and you can click at the last, the previous post before this one, and you will find the video. All right. Tell you about Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr. It's just another stupid story. Even Muhammad don't remember when it was. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to say something? Come and visit Dominican Republic. I would love to go there. Actually, Dominican Republic is a is a beautiful day, beautiful uh, country. But you know the problem because I have 72 version with me and Virgin Airline they said they cannot take them all in one trip. They said our trips there they don't have an airplane have 72 seats. Even Virgin Airline cannot do that and I cannot I'm not allowed to use any airline except Virgin Airline. One of the funny things about Muhammad he says that each time you sleep with those versions Allah will make them virgin again. And here you see the, the the logic of a cheating. I mean, what the point? It's, she is the same woman, and I just slept with her. So what? Why you are making her version again? What is that? Silliness. But because Muhammad, he knew that the, the Arab man, he liked to be the first. But this is not even the first anymore. I mean, this is stupid. And even the versions which Muhammad he promised the Muslim men, all of them they have the same name. All of them they have the same look. All of them they have the same height. All of them. They look exactly the same. So what the point of having many? Another point, we mentioned before that Muhammad, he promised the Muslim men that those versions who we will have in heaven, we are going to have, they will be transparent. Additional stupid, you know, fantasy Muhammad, he come with. <clears throat> why anyone in the world he would like to have a woman 
he can see through the marrow of her bones. <coughs> what is exactly that, Isabel? Read carefully. The Prophet is talking, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, so the Muslim cannot say this is not true, this is weak, you know, you know the, 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 the things they come with. Those beautiful Huris, they are so beautiful to the point they are pure, transparent, that the marrow of their bones, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. And that's supposedly what they call it, I am sexy and I know it. If you are confused about how those women they will look like, I will give you an idea. Very sexy and very beautiful. Actually, I don't like to watch this because I get tempted. I feel like I want to get married immediately. It's hard for a single man like me to see this and stay like functioning. I, you see, I see I'm, I'm losing my thought now. Oh, what was the topic? What, what, what we were talking about? I, I, I totally forgot what is the topic because this is too much. Hmm? I mean, how many reasons we need to show that Muhammad is a false prophet? What is this? Oh, I forgot now. I, okay, I remember now. The topic was Muhammad. See, when you see this beauty, I mean, you go crazy, especially with those high heels. Look at this. I mean, look what she is wearing, man. I mean, this, this, uh, this is very tempting. So, this is a prophet of God who promised me women like this. Uh, Hassan, he is saying, what if somebody don't want uh, virgins? My friend, what do you mean don't want It's not up to you. Uh, even in the heaven of Allah, there is only one kind of meat. It is bird. Fish, there is no fish. Shish kebab, there is no shish kebab. Don't try. There is no even hummus. Only birds and fruits. Here you see another, uh, another side of the stupidity of this cult. But you know, if you speak to Muslims, they do their best trying to deceive you. Uh, uh, how Jesus, he is God, but he do not know the hour. Hmm? How you worship Jesus, he says he is God. And then the answer is there in the same chapter you are reading. Your God do not know the hour. Actually, who want to call me right now, challenge between me and you, to prove to you that Allah do not know the hour. Let me change this uh, picture because I see uh, a lot of women because of this picture is getting divorced these days. Uh, I receive a complaint from a woman. She says, my husband will leave me now. Hold on. I want to save her future with her marriage. Yeah, the husband, he will see this. He will look at his wife. He will see this. He will look at his wife. He will see this. He will look at his wife. And for sure, this will win, you know. I don't want you, you know, like you, you join my channel to learn something and you end divorced because of uh, what I'm showing you. I mean, that what a shame. Excuse me. Any Mohammedan here? What will happen to you when you see this is exactly when Osama Dakdok, he saw me first time. Osama Dakdok, he, uh, he was in the church. I came to the church to see him. And his wife, she was walking with me. She didn't know who I am, you know. And Osama, he heard my voice. So now he knew the voice. He looked at me. He says, this is you? This is you? <laughs> this guy, he was thinking I look so totally different, you know. He's like exactly as if he saw an alien coming from the moon. Like, this is you? And I was saying, oh, God, I think they will beat me now. I think they will kick me out from the church. I think they will grab me from my legs and they will throw me outside in the street. Because I look exactly like Ahmadinejad, peace upon him. Any Muslim have any comment? So we open sky for you, what happened?
Huh? Uh, Nathalie, she is saying, poor CP. Why poor? Now listen, when you look like me, you have advantage. You go in the elevator, you say good morning, nobody dares to answer. I look like a terrorist. I go in the airplane, I have my seat alone. Nobody sat next to me. In the security, they check me alone, I go so fast. I mean, it's a, it's a blessing, my friend. Especially when I start speaking in Arabic and saying, Alhamdulillah, brother, in the airport. Like, hello? Alhamdulillah, brother. Yes, I'm going to take the airplane, brother. And Alhamdulillah, yeah, Alhamdulillah, inshallah, inshallah. The security, right, the guy, he come to me. He says, uh, sir, he put a circle around my ticket and he says, can you go to that line there? This is a, a fast, uh, uh, like what they call it, like a, a special check. I don't know what they call it. And right away, he will ask someone, he is a blonde redhead to go after me right away to make it like it's not because you are a Middle Eastern or no, no. Anyone? Okay, forget about any one offer. What about any two Muslims want to call me? Because anyone is not working, obviously. I mean, it's silly of me. I keep saying to anyone. Obviously, they will not call you one by one. They will call you 10 by 10. Okay, what about any 10? Hello? I am handsome, trust me. I don't know. You tell that to the fish. I go to the fish to fish in the, the fish die. I don't even hunt them. They go like they look at me if under the water they die. I just grab them. She faint the fish. You know, I, I never get a, a, a fish. She is not fainting. I, I'm not sure what are you talking about when you say you're handsome. But anyway, look like these days we have to lie. I mean, okay, I am handsome. That's it. The prophet, he said so. So, you know, do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? How I can call you? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. Give me your Skype and I will call you myself. Give me your Skype and I will call you if you are a Muslim. Only if you are a Muslim, please. Muslim propaganda will convert the Muslim left, uh, the, the Western left. No, actually, you know, you see, Islam is, is, a, is a stupid cult. Even if somebody convert to Islam, he might convert for some time and then he will leave. You see, even the naive ones, they will notice that they, they've been stupid by converting to such a cult. They have a conference in, in Chicago for Muslims, and they were studying why the average of a Muslim who convert, he stayed the average of three years maximum, most of them. The answer is very simple, because you convert them by lying to them, and then when they join the group, they notice that what you told them is different. This is why there's a guy, his name is, uh, uh, now he called himself, com don't convert to Islam. I'm sure you know him, right? Actually, this guy, me, myself, I made many videos to, you know, to get him busted when he was a Muslim. You can find many of my videos I made for this guy when he was a Muslim. This guy, 16 years a Muslim, which means since he was a, a, a teenage, he was a victim. But look what happened. This guy, he converted to Islam, he started traveling around, and I think he went to Saudi Arabia, he learned Arabic, and now he speaks actually a good Arabic. The second he learned Arabic, boom. <laughs> he discovered that everything they said to him about the stupid cult of Islam, it was a lie. And now this guy, he don't hesitate to tell his story why he left Islam. Hello, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Brother Ismail. I've been a Muslim for 16 years. But in the past few years, I have been bothered by some reoccurring issues which have forced me to question my Islamic faith. And recently, I have decided to finally leave Islam, and in this video, I will explain why. Now, I don't think it's fair for Muslims to consider me as some kind of traitor or sellout 
because over the years I've done my best to be faithful and loyal to Islam. I Absolutely, he has hundreds of videos, by the way, trying to convert people to Islam, speaking of miracles in the Quran. You can watch them. And I was getting him busted all over and over. And then after he learned Arabic, he noticed that all those things they told him it was a big fat lie. Uh, somebody want to call me to explain Jesus about the hour? I don't know. We explained it already, but uh, give me your Skype. No problem, my friend. The one who have a name in the Russian letters, is that Russian? <clears throat> okay, give me your... Uh, or you, if you are already in my Skype, you can text me. No problem. As long as there is no Abdul, what we can do. <clears throat> we are out of them. Anyone? So people leave Islam simply right after you know you learn the truth uh, if you are an ignorant anybody can de deceive you and there's a lot of western they have no idea what islam is about so it's easy to be deceived but sooner or later you will discover that this is a stupid cult <clears throat> my friend even the one who believe uh uh, even the one who is from the left who don't examine sooner or later he will examine a human being will, will will go through many stages in his life and many stages are stupid you know okay if that is you my friend answer me in skype Secondly, this is why our videos are very important, so we can spread the truth, and the one who did not learn, he will earn his knowledge. Right? All right. Hello. 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 Yes, my friend, go ahead. Very well, am I being heard well? Uh, I hear you, and I think everybody hear you. Go ahead. Very well. Um, you had a whole video uh, about uh, Jesus in the Hour. Yes. Uh, it's not on the channel anymore. It's deleted. It, it is in my uh, Patreon page. You can click there, and you can watch it if you did not see it. Sorry again? It's, uh, you know, we because people they download my videos, so I take them from my channel, but they are still there. You can watch, you can, if you go to Patreon, you can click at the link and you can uh, uh, watch the video, still there. But it's not in my channel no more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll uh, clarify this later. Um, what I wanted to add uh, about the G's in the hour. Hmm. This is actually very simple. Okay. Uh, all the time, uh, when I was reading the Revelation, or at least, you know, the, my favorite part, favorite part where the Jesus finally comes back and does the judgment, is about to do the judgment. Um, it says in the chapter 19, when he comes back, in the book of Revelation, okay. he, he has a name, several names there. He has a title, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Amen, that's him. And he has a name that's important. Here it is. He has a name that nobody knows beside him. Okay. Why it is important? He says, nobody knows the hour uh, except for Father. Therefore, then he uh, clarifies, no man, uh, no son of man, nor angels. That's why we know that Holy Spirit knows the hour. Uh, because he would mention it. But because he um, 
because he has a name, would have a name, that nobody knows beside him. He don't have it yet. He'll have it later, in that very hour. In that very hour. He's going to have a name that nobody knows beside him. This is a puzzle. If you know something about uh, an issue that you don't know, do you know it or you don't? Yeah, but my friend, the, the, my friend, let, let us make it simple. When you when you try to explain it to this way to the to the Muslims, Muslims will not even listen to you. So we have to go with their uh, funny logic and get them busted from their own logic. Uh, the the issue is what when we Christians we speak to Muslims, we try to imply our belief, and this is the right thing actually to say. I mean, this is what we believe, and then we try to to tell them what we believe. You don't do that. Use their logic to refute their logic and that will work otherwise they will not even listen because they knew that the christians believed then if if jesus is not god this is the whole point either jesus is god or not and okay how is god but you do not know the, the the hour so if you say because he will have a name later that is not really uh, uh, too much an explanation because simply jesus says it clearly everything i have is from my father and in the same time he says me and the Father is one. So when Jesus, he called Father, that is a statement confirming who is he. You see, the word Father is not just a word uh, describing uh, just a person. Yeah, I can, it is I not can explain further on that. That's very important. When each time when he says something about his supposed limitations, each time he says, Father is greater than I. Right. They might think, oh, he's, he's greater, wait a second, he's Father. And it's each time like that. That's very important. They can't say his Father. And it's not a Father. You see, um, they're trying to, they know that saying Bible is corrupted isn't working. They're trying to, they already, you can see it all the time. We should be rally with anybody else. Uh, they do this, they're trying to already find a way through saying that, well, he meant son in the way of like David, he meant son of, no, that's not going to work because he's born from Holy Spirit, and things like that. They're trying to go around that they know the Bible is corrupt, it isn't working. Yeah. Actually, there's, again, very simple argument again, corrupted Bible. Uh, uh, no, there are several ones, but let's uh, keep on Well, they can say whatever what they, they want. want to... However, the same chapter, the easiest way, I believe, it's to use the same chapter which the Muslim they use to say that Jesus he did not know because he told us when the hour will come, what will happen, what exactly all the prophecies, list, long list of prophecies. When they, those things happen, I will come back. He will come back himself, is what he said. So if you believe in that verse, then you have to believe in the whole chapter and the whole chapter com, com, you know, prove that Jesus is God. So it's not up to them, not up to them to take uh, uh, two words and make a story out of it. Either you take the whole chapter or you don't take anything from it. And when he say, my father, simply because Jesus says that clearly that uh, uh, that's everything I do is from my father. Everything I have, I heard from my father. And none of you know the father but me. And the one at the same time, he says, the one who saw the, 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 the one who saw me, he saw the father. So when the Messiah, Messiah here is speaking about is simply that the father is the one who is, uh, uh, let us say, he been called. Let's make it simple. He been, Let's make yeah, it simple. He been, he, uh. the, 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 the title of a, of a father is to, is to use for us as a human to know who is he in this, uh, in this uh, trinity. He is the father, you know? Why is it's, it's not necessarily, uh, because that way, exactly that way, it would be like, oh, so father is main and important. Why the God is father? Uh, well, I mean, it's some substance of God as Father. The Muslims, they are very quick to say that Father is God. Excuse me, this is one of substances, three substances. We have to talk about the Trinity in the way, it's not like they don't understand it. Maybe some don't understand it, really. Maybe some Christians don't understand it. Uh, I personally think that Trinity is one of the most simple things that can be, uh, he's, <laughs> one God has three substances. Each of them, is he himself at the same time 
um, what can be more simple than that? You don't have to like go yeah, further but, than but this. But in the same, the same I mean, yeah, yeah. But you know, just to make it simple, because now you see uh, uh, some people they might and say, okay, no. So who is the father? Uh, as you said, uh, the Trinity is God Himself. This is what uh, if you go to John chapter one verse number one, it says it clearly that <clears> in the beginning the Word it was it was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was uh, 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 the God. So the Word is the Messiah. He was with God and everything created by him and for him. So the Bible is not not one verse. It's a book. Either you take it all of it or you don't take any of it. The Muslims, they try to take a, a, a phrase to make a story from it, but that will not work. Because as long as you accepted that statement where he says, my father, that means you have to accept that Jesus telling the truth that he is his father, which means he, the, the, our God, he, he called him father. So as long as you don't believe in the father, and you Muslim, you don't believe in the sun. So how come you believe in this verse? Yes. You, know? you see, even 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 further than that, uh, in the verse, they actually in the chat they say my voice is not clear. They say what? They say my voice is not clear. Uh, I think it's fine. There is a little tone behind it, but it's okay. Okay, very well. Um, when it, in the place where it's written that um, show us the father. Listen to what he says there. Have I been, uh, have I not been all this time among you and you don't know me? So he says, show us the father. And he says, and you don't know me. He like literally said that he is the father. Well, as a God, you know, the substance son is not substance father, but they are still one God. So anyway, yeah. Uh, he, all, he already said that, you know, uh, have I been all this time among you and you don't know me, you see. Uh, the thing is, what I wanted to um, maybe finish the conversation, if uh, this is supposed to be ended, um, someone's complaining in the chat, my three seconds are over. Uh, the thing I said about Jesus' name, you just have to go further than this. We have God and three substances. Muslims, they trying to take that away, which is really funny. At some moment, there is no substances. They deny them. At some moment, there are only substances. For example, they say, so Jesus, he create himself. He create his mother. Uh, he um, like killed himself for himself. Wait a second. What are you saying gibberish? Where are the substances now? Why substances are gone at this moment? And we'll be talking that you know uh, yeah, you are, substance my, my here. Friend, I, ha I have to cut you. Sorry, your voice is coming bad. Same time we are changing topic and we are going far, and this will will take forever. So I, yeah. I, I apologize. I have to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, we are okay. going far away from uh, you know. If you want to read, the, this means you have to read the whole Bible for them now. All right. So anyway, anyway, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind doing that. Okay, God bless. Yeah, but we have a topic. You know, we can. You know, I just uh, you said the three minutes, and you will you will finish it. And now it's you know we are, we have a, already we yeah. have, we have a video long one, video. One thing. One, yeah, go one ahead. thing. I I I know I've been cut off. Um, I mean, you know, in the, in the Skype, um, <laughs> get out of my head. When you explain that, you not always have to stick to the topic. Uh, sometimes, you know, the person. Each of us, it's not about being Muslim or not Muslim. All of us, uh, you know, have our own questions. And they might come out in the moment when we don't know. So they might sincerely have some, or might not. When they change the topic uh, on their own, of course, nobody must let them do it. But uh, I would, I can, like, no problem. I can go, like, all over the Bible. It's no problem for me okay. each time. Thank okay, God bless you. Yeah, but this is not the way to explain to Muslims anything. Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the strange is that we assume that the Muslim we talk to, he understands even the Bible that we're talking about. This guy, he is just copying a, a phrase. He saw it in a Muslim website. He never read the Bible. And this is the case for most of them. So you are trying to explain things they never heard of. And you think they understand it. And this is why you say is uh, substance or whatever. Like, I mean, the Muslim do not know what we're talking about. Uh, always the Christians, they try to speak to Muslims, and still they are speaking as a Christian. Speak to Muslims as a Muslim.
Don't be a Muslim. Speak to them as a Muslim. Use their stupid logic. Uh, when, when somebody says to you, Jesus in that chapter saying something, we say, okay, read the whole chapter, and you will see that Jesus saying clearly that he knew what nobody knows. That alone is enough. He knew what nobody knows. If you start speaking philosophy, uh, then, you know, there is many, they are naive. Even Christians, they will get be confused by what you said. It's very simple. It's not really that much complicated. If God cannot be God, then God cannot be God. If God is God, that means He is Almighty. So Almighty God is in three person. If He cannot be three person, then He cannot be Almighty. Let us say that God, He says He in four person, five person, seven person. Well, He is Almighty God. So either you accept that He is Almighty or you accept that He is not. And when the Muslim they say that Jesus says, My Father is greater than me, Jesus simply is speaking about himself being in the flesh of a human. And this is what the Bible says, that he humbled himself and he took the flesh of a human. He, God, he humbled himself. So it's very simple, very easy. We do not need to make it complicated and make it philosophy. God who appeared to us in a man, God who came to us as a man. And this is why he says, Jesus said, my father is greater than I. It's not for the man to know but Jesus he said it clearly that he is the Alpha he is the Omega which means he is exists from the beginning to the end the beginning of what not his beginning the beginning of a creation to the end of the creation Abraham he saw my day so the existence of Jesus have nothing to do with his birth a Muslim will say to you we celebrate the day or the sorry the, the uh, Christmas that is not really a birthday of Jesus and we don't care for a birthday because this is not his existence. We celebrate that by him coming to this earth, we are saved. Otherwise, the Messiah said clearly that Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced. The Jews, they said to him, because they think the same as the Muslims by their logic, how you can say such a thing that Abraham, he rejoiced for your day and you are not even 50 years old. This is the logic of the Muslims today, the same as the logic of the Jews. So, in order to understand who is the Messiah, you have you have to be a decent person. And in the debate with Muslims, mostly decency is not the case. It is just a mockery. You explain to me then what Jesus meant by saying, uh, Abraham, he saw my day. If Jesus was just a human, who was born and he died after 33 years. According to Muslims, Allah, he took him to heaven. Okay, so Allah, he took him to heaven and he stayed in this earth for 33 days. So how Jesus says that Abraham, he saw my day. Any Muslim can explain that to us? You can give us your own fantasy. But here you notice that the Muslims, they avoid those verses. Because those verses, they got them busted. Those verses, they got them busted. So we will avoid them and we will not talk about them. For very simple reason. If we use them, people will laugh at us and people will notice that what we are saying about Jesus is absolute lie. In the same time, if... Uh, not knowing the judgment day as they claim will make uh, Jesus not God that's mean Allah is not God too as they claim I'm using their claim Allah all over the Quran not only he do not know how the baby is created and the one who do not know such a simple thing how the baby is created how he can know the judgment day anyway you know what I mean to know how the baby is created is a lot easier than to know something never happened yet and it is far in the future we do not know when it's going to happen if we go in the bible in matthew chapter 22 you will see the messiah speaking about things to happen and about him uh, and always the messiah he speak to us in parables so people they, will, they might understand to, to make it simple for us 
the parable in the Bible is for a very simple reason, because a human being cannot comprehend the wisdom of God without making it simple. The Muslim, they try to make it complicated. If we go and read here, you will see uh, the you know uh, how the Jews always they are trying to uh, make the Messiah uh, say something which he you know like he, he don't want to say or he is not uh, uh, he's not going to say it anyway. It just to it's like a trap debating the Jews with the Messiah. It was a trap. So they ask him as an example about the tax. Shall we pay to Caesar? So if he say don't pay uh, Caesar, the Roman will arrest him. If he say pay. The Jews will hate him. So whatever he say, he will he, he will be he, you know this is the this is the point of the question. So the Muslim they ask same questions, not really to learn, but to put you in trouble. The same as the Jews try to make Jesus in trouble, but Jesus he showed them their hypocrisy and he can read their mind. So they are asking if he, a, a Jewish person, he can pay the tax to Caesar, and then Jesus says to them. Okay, what is the image in this coin you have in your pocket? And they said, this is Caesar. So look how amazing the wisdom and high intelligence of the Messiah. He said to them, then give to Caesar what is to Caesar. <laughs> so look at those hypocrites. They are asking, shall we pay tax to Caesar? But yet they are using the money of Caesar, which means they agree his law, they agree with his authority. They agree to live under the command of Caesar. They agree to pay, to use the money of Caesar. They agree to carry his image in their, in their pocket. And then Jesus said to them, you are a bunch of hypocrites. You are asking me, shall we? What about you throw this money if you don't want it? If you don't agree, Caesar, he have authority over you because a citizen who carry a money of a king, it means he agree that this king is his king. So why you are carrying the money of Caesar? This is what the Muslim today they try to do with you. They ask questions in order to trouble you. If you say this, you will be in trouble. If you say that, in trouble. But we will never be in trouble because we have the Messiah, who nobody can overcome him by wisdom by love by miracles by anything and then the jews when the messiah he spoke to them he said what do you say of the messiah who is the messiah they said he is the son of david then he says well if he is son of david then why david call him my lord my god call him jehovah Always I see in the Muslim today another copy, a uh, counterfeit copy of the Jews in the time of Jesus. They say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, read it. He told them, I am the living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. It's all over in front of you. Actually, each time the Messiah, he says, I am, he is saying, I am God your God because this is how God he spoke to Moses when Moses asked God who are you what's your name what I will tell my people he told them say I am who I am so each time the Messiah he said that statement but because the Muslims are a bunch of you know copy paste people they do not know that the I am is a statement of God announcing himself is not just saying I am otherwise what I am mean right what I am mean uh, look here what the Messiah he said to them and he said what are you saying about the Messiah who is son is he they were saying to him he is a son of David. He said to them, And how did David by the Spirit call him? The Lord Jehovah. For he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord. 
sit in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. Therefore, if David call him the Lord Jehovah, how he is his son. Do you see it? And they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God. It's in the front of you. We are reading chapter, Matthew chapter 22. And this is the Bible from the Aramaic as it is, which means translated to plain English, but from the Aramaic. Very good translation. Uh, so, you know, when I say, okay, the Messiah, he do not know the hour. Well, you need to explain to me then what the Messiah uh, here is saying. You have to connect the dots. It's not just uh, one statement. I read the whole chapter. For sure, the Messiah, he knew the hour, but not is. it's not about a date because in Christianity, there's no date. There's no preset date. Yesterday, I, I, I quote about what the Bible says about if there is 10 people only, decent people in Sodom and Gomorrah, God will not destroy those cities. Only if there's 10 righteous people. What does that mean? It's mean the destruction is based upon our sin not God, he preset the date. So, as we showed you, Muhammad, he was saying that Allah, he wrote a destiny for a person to the point even, you, you know, even your sin is not a sin you choose to do. It is a sin Allah, he chose for you. If you remember, Muhammad, he made this statement here about Adam and Moses. Adam and Musa. Let us show you the hadith. Adam and Musa, they had a debate, according to Muhammad. Musa, he accused Adam that you are, because of you, we are out of heaven, which means because of your sin. And here proved to us that the Muslims claim that Musa was a Muslim is absolutely false because it is wrong, it is false, according to Islam, to believe in the original sin. So when the Muslim, they say to us that Moses was a Muslim, well, you have to explain to me then how Moses believed in the original sin. And this is supposedly a debate happened after Moses and Adam, they die. Because Adam is dead, Moses is dead. When they debated, I don't know. <laughs> so Moses is saying, because of you, because of you, Adam, you are our father, and because of you, we are disappointed because you turned us out of paradise. That's mean Moses was not a Muslim. Big fat lie. Muhammad, he get himself busted. Because remember, the one who's saying that is Muhammad. Then Adam said to him, Oh, Moses, Allah favored you. He talked to you directly. And he wrote the Torah for you by his hand. Yet, do you blame me for an action that which Allah written had written in my faith 40 years before my creation? And here why we say Islam is a stupid cult. Look how Jesus speak about the end of the time and the sin. When he says, not everyone do say to me, uh, Jehovah, Jehovah, or Lord, Lord, or God, God, he will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So destiny in Christianity is doing the will of God, but by choice. So the destiny is, this is how destiny in Christianity, in a simple way, we can explain it. We don't believe in the destiny, the Muslim, they, they believe in. But there is a destiny. In the following way a human being is born to die that is the destiny you can't change it a human being is going to go either to heaven or to hell that is a destiny you cannot change it which means you cannot change you, you don't have third option but you can change the direction so there's one of two options that is destiny the way we under, we have it but we don't have that god he created us and wrote 40 years before he created us a decree that we should do. You know what I'm saying? Here you notice that Muhammad is saying that Adam cannot be blamed for his sin. So why Adam was kicked out from heaven? 
guys are you listening and this is why I say Islam always fail with the logic. It's a stupid logic. So Adam, he is a victim. Look, it's not me who is saying. Muhammad saying, speaking that Adam saying, that saying, do you blame me? Which means we cannot blame him. So if we cannot blame Adam for the sin of Adam, we blame who? Allah. And that is 180 degree from the teaching of Christianity. In the teaching of Christianity, it is not God who made Adam sin. No, we don't believe in such a garbage. It is not logical, it is not fair, and it is ugly. Right? Yes, truth, how are you? Truth, Islam. Are you there? Hello? Truth, are you there? Okay, my friend, fix your microphone and call me back. All right? Because I hear nothing. So here you notice that the Muslims are worried about the logic of a Christianity, how Jesus says, my father, how, how we believe in the Trinity, but everything in Islam is stupid. The Trinity is very simple. This is how God He is. Either you take it or you, it's not up to you. You see, when, if, when Allah He says to you that He is only one, okay, you believe in that because He said He's only one. If He says He's ten, you will believe in that. <laughs> Correct? I mean, are you debating what Allah said or you are agreeing with Him whatever He said? Here we go. This is what Allah said. And just because he said that, you agree. But if I am the one who come to you with this logic, you will not, you will not like it. Hello? Yes, Truth. How are you? Uh, does my voice now come? Yes, you're still a Muslim today, Truth? You did not leave Islam yet? Assalamu alaikum, but I just have five minutes. I need to um, always, say something. Always you I have can. five minutes, man. I mean, why you don't give me five hours? What's wrong? <laughs> Did you marry any wife? Be honest with me. Did, did you have? Did you have a? Did, did, you, did you change your four wives? Did, did no, no. I, I promise you, bro. No, no, no. Don't worry. Soon, 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 soon we will have a long discussion. But now I just come quickly to refute you, brother. Okay, refute. And, and, and I know. All right. So, so we believe you, brother. So, um, it says that that Adam. Uh, you're trying to say that Adam took our uh, sins, right? So we are paying for his sins, but that's not true. Well, no, 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 wait, 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 so this is not talking about like Adam sinned and then we need something to repent and something, you know, we need to repent because Adam said, no, what Allah did was he put us all together for Adam to repent. It's not sin that ends the world, it's repentance that ends the world. My friend, why so you, it's repentance okay, hold on, hold on. Why Adam to re need to repent if Allah, he wrote his destiny for him? I mean, I make you sin and then I ask you to repent, but he is not the one he's been forced to. Look, Adam here is saying, you speak English better than me. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So the point here is, I cannot blame Adam for his sin. Question, if we cannot blame Adam for his sin, we blame who? Go ahead. Now we, we, we blame the devil. Because the devil made what do you mean Adam blame the devil? He did not say, did you see, he, did he say the devil? He said, he said, listen carefully. He said, uh, which wait, Allah had written, I, I no, listen, listen. Right now. He did well, not say the devil. Reading, no, 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 don't, don't, don't fabricate, don't fabricate the, the, the hadith in front of us. He did not say the devil, he made me do that because it doesn't matter if the devil or not. At the end of the day, you commit sin. But hear what he is saying, that do you blame me for no, what so, Allah had written for me? Who is, who, 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 who is the one we can who is the one who wrote his fate? Who is the one who wrote the fate? The devil, who who if is the, the one that didn't exist? We, can we still say it? My, my friend, my if friend. The devil okay. exists, let, can we let, sin? let me ask, let me ask you. Is the devil a Muslim or he is not a Muslim? 
um, devil was a Muslim, but then he turned from the Islam and Haq, and then he became a sinner. Okay, so uh, uh, isn't it your prophet and your Quran saying that Allah he appointed for every prophet shaitan? But you have many demons, right? No, 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 shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. I'm talking about uh, the, uh, first in Islam, you don't believe Iblis. in this. No, you don't believe in, you don't believe in demon. you don't believe does. in demon. Secondly, I'm saying we do believe in demon genes. What? Genes. Okay, and I'm talking about shaitan. Jin because Muslim believe in, in a cre creature, supposed to he is a genie, and there's a good genie and bad genie. Yeah. But this is not my question. Don't talk about something I'm not talking about. I'm saying okay, but I'm, is I'm, it? Is it okay? Is it is it Allah who made Shaitan work for him so he can deceive you? Yes, because hmm. um, in, in, of course, if you if you gotta test someone, you gotta test also the put the bad things on him and the good things and okay. see what he does. Okay, so Shaitan, guys, he said yes. Allah appointed Shaitan. So he can deceive us. So Shaitan is a servant of Allah. He is just doing a work Allah he appointed for him to do. So who is the one who is bad, Allah or the Shaitan? If Allah sent Shaitan, no, 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 it's not. No, 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 no. Shaitan challenged Allah, and then Allah accepted the challenge. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want. So you to, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. No problem. You know, uh, uh, Allah he challenged Shaitan. Sorry, Shaitan, he challenged Allah, yes, correct? And how Allah, yes. he refuted Shaitan when he challenged him? What what he did? Um, uh, in the end, Shaitan says, uh, I will lead to... What do you mean by uh, refuted or something? Uh, well, Allah, he did. Allah, it. you said Shaitan, uh, 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 he challenged Allah. How he challenged him? Yes. He said to Allah, um, I, will, I will put the people astray from your path. Hmm? What do you mean? He, he said, uh, I will put the people astray no, no, what, from what your path. What was the challenge? What was the challenge? What happened? I don't know. Maybe you can uh, read the verse or something. Well, where it says uh, that. Allah, he ordered Ad, uh, uh, Shaitan to bow down to Adam, correct? Yes. Okay. Wh 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 why? What is the reason? Out of out of um, respect or out of like uh, respect for what? It's not worship. It's not worship. It's out of uh, how you say that? Uh, admire admire something. Admire what? Like out of admire. Okay, uh, the story here that Allah supposedly he he said to the angels he is going to create an uh, a human. Uh, you can yeah. go. You can go to chapter two, verse number thirty-four. You can go to chapter yeah. 15, verse number 31, uh, chapter 15, 32. It's all over the Quran, as usual. Okay, and chapter 20, verse 116. Uh, chapter 18, verse number 50. This is why the Quran is in the book of God. It's all over. All right. Uh, chapter eight, uh, uh, 83, uh, verse number 74. Chapter 83, verse number 75. So, Allah, he said to the angels, I will create uh, someone to inherit the earth. And that is the human. The mm. angel he said to him, "Are you going to create someone who but is going brother, to do machine?" Brother, I, brother, can I say something? Yeah. Uh, you, you right now show me Arabic uh, thing. No, I'm not Arab, Arab man. I, I call I'm not it sure Arabic. Arabic. Here we go. It's, 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 an, it's in English. Here we go. It's in English. Hmm? Oh, wait, let me see. Yeah. First, oh yeah, yeah. No, it's in, yeah. I'm sorry. Chapter two, verse because number thirty. Is for, so Allah, yes, He told yes. them. I will create a man. They told him, are you going to create someone who will do mischief, man? Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not, which means you are wrong. Then Allah, he decided to mm. get them busted. How he got them busted? He called many things names. He gave things names. He created things and he called them names. And he told them, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are right. Which mean what? Which means the angels are wrong. Correct? If I say to you, Tell me the name of those things if you are right. Right about what? Right about knowing that Adam would do mischief, man. Correct? Mm. Okay, but Adam did mischief, man. And I place them for the. Tell me the names of. 
So, um, uh, could you repeat the clay? My friend, they are. They say to him that Adam, are you going to create someone who will do mischievement and even yeah, shed yeah. the blood? Allah said to them, I know what you know not, which means you are wrong. And then he continue trying to get them busted. He, he's like trying to be Christian prince for one day. And then he says, <laughs> and he taught Adam the names of all things. And then he placed them in the, before the angels. So he created things like remote control, microwave, potato, tomato, and he gave them names. He told the angels, okay, tell me the names of those things. The angels looked like, what? No way, we cannot tell you the names of those things. And they said, ah, glory to Allah. That the knowledge, you knowledge, we don't have a knowledge of uh, what, what, what you have. And then Allah, He wanna show them now that He is God. How? He taught Adam all the names, mm. and He told Adam, okay, Adam, tell them the names of those things. What is this? Adam, He says, this is a carrot. This one, um, cucumber. This mm. one, tomato. This one, potato. And this is how the angel were astonished, yeah. like, wow, how Allah, He proved Himself. Let me ask you. If but, you have, but you if don't, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have a dog with you, you are walking in the street, and you have a dog or a cat, and I ask you, what is the name of your dog? He says to me, if I tell you the name of my dog, are you going to believe I am God? This is what your God He did. He named things, and He told them, tell me the names, and because they do not know the names, and He know the names, that means He's God, and He have knowledge. I mean, how stupid that argument is, because I am the one who named them the things. What about we do the opposite? What about you name it, you don't tell me, and then I will tell you the name you gave to that thing. That will make him God. But look what he did. He is the, no, the one who named the dog Susu. And then you ask him, hey, uh, do you know what the name of my dog? He said, uh, uh, no. And then Allah, he says to you, my dog name is Susu. But you are the one who named him Susu. So how that can prove to us that he's God? Secondly, if we go in the Quran, we will find this. You said that Allah, he appointed Shaitan, correct? Um, yes. Okay. If Allah appointed Shaitan, that means Shaitan is an employee to Allah. Yes. It is all settled by Allah. Okay. So what what is the job of Shaitan to do? To mislead the people. Okay. To test who, the people. But who is the one who hired him? He uh, wanted the job. Like it, it's it, it, let's say let's say it's a. Um, there's a job, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but who is the one who is like the employer? Okay, hold everyone. on. Read to me, my friend. What, tra what translation for that job? Uh, uh, the the truth. What, what translation you like most? What translation of Quran you like most? So I can put it for you on the screen. Bring me any. Any. Bring okay. me any. Bring Read me carefully. Any. Read carefully. Allah is saying. Allah is speaking. And we and so we have appointed to every prophet enemies. Shayateen. Does it say that? And so we have devils. Hmm. Shayateen is devils. The team that's hmm. uh, um, uh, many uh, many devils. Yeah, many. But who is so the one who appointed them? Allah. Okay. Allah. So those are are they are these are those shaitan? Is he bad or good? The one who worked for Allah. Hmm. Hmm. He's appointed by who? Allah. He says, "Hey, shaitan, you go." And you jump in the shoulder of Muhammad, try to deceive him. So that shaitan, is he a bad boy or a good boy? Bad. Bad? Why he's bad? Allah, he's appointed him. He's doing the order of Allah. No, but this is after. This after. Doesn't matter challenge. who is the it's one who just... appointed my, my friend. <laughs> who is the one who <laughs> appointed shaitan? If I appointed, if I appointed somebody <laughs> to kill you, if I appointed someone, listen, if I appointed someone to kill you, who is the one who is the really criminal? The one who killed you or the one who appointed the hitman to kill you? <laughs> no, bro, this is after the challenge, man. It is doesn't matter, the doesn't challenge. matter. What's a challenge? There's no challenge. He appointed how they are challenging each other, but they are friends. Don't you see? He appointed him. If I appointed you and you agree, that's mean you 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 are working for me. We are not enemies. So Allah and his and Shaitan, they are friends. Not only friends, Allah is the boss. Allah he appointed Shaitan. If I say I appointed you to be a president. <laughs> That's mean we are in the same party. Yes, why you are laughing? Are you laughing at the stupidity like, of the Quran? What happened? Guys, does it say? <laughs> Poor guy. Doesn't say that Allah is the one who appointed the shaitan. Why you are laughing? Listen carefully to yourself, read the verse carefully, and you will see how stupid the cult of Islam is.
how shaitan is an enemy of Allah and yet he is appointed by Allah it doesn't make sense either the shaitan is rebellion and he don't obey Allah or shaitan is obedience and he you know he obey Allah based on the verse in the front of us he is not only obeying Allah he work for Allah and you yourself you say that shaitan uh, Allah he sent them to uh, to deceive he was sent by Allah I don't know why you hang up let me call you back <laughs> Answer, answer, otherwise Allah will appoint shaitan for you. Hey, Muhammad, answer, answer, otherwise Allah will appoint shaitan for you, man. Uh, he will not answer now. Yeah, he don't want to answer. Okay, don't answer, no problem. Isn't it obvious? So look here. Adam saying, do you blame me for a sin which Allah he wrote for me? That is a clear proof that Muhammad saying that Adam cannot be blamed and Shaitan cannot be blamed because this is something written in the scenario of Allah. What about adultery? Even adultery according to Islam is not something you choose to do or not to do. Muhammad he said that Allah he wrote for every human being his fortune of adultery. his portion verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will in, indulge in and which he necessity must commit this guy doesn't say must commit does it say he must commit that's it is written for you so what is shaitan here is shaitan is the one who made us commit adultery no it's Allah Allah he have a fixed portion for you he wrote it it's not shaitan you see this this the stupid cult when they want they blame shaitan for their crimes and when they want they ignore the the the, the, the statement in the religion this is your prophet saying allah has a fixed for very portion of adultery which mean uh, you will do two kilograms of adultery uh, I might do maybe five kilograms of adultery he might do ten kilograms of adultery but all of this it is by Allah decision not shaitan and it says here that in which he of necessity must commit it's not a choice so who is the shaitan Obviously, the Quran confirmed that the true shaitan is Allah. Right? The true shaitan is Allah. There is no shaitan. I mean, if, uh, and here, you know, imagine Allah, He made Adam commit sin, and uh, Allah, He made us commit adultery, and then He will stone us to death. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? So he write my destiny could have commit sin and then he want to punish me for committing sin how who's a stupid here this is why we said Islam is a very silly stupid cult right who is a Muslim have the courage to call And the funny, he is excited. He said he want to refute me. I am, I am, I'm being refuted. That's it. I mean, I never saw a Muslim. He did not refute me. All of them, they refute me. I never spoke to a Muslim. He did not laugh at his cult. Who is a Muslim when to refute me? If Allah is the one wrote the portion of adultery which I have to commit, it's a necessity. It's not a choice. There's no A, B, C, D. It is something he wrote for you and you have to do. The same as Adam. Adam said, Are you, do you blame me? 
Abbas, you want to call Abba, uh, Abbas, uh, Abbas is driving. Where is Abbas? Abbas, are you there? As I know, Abbas, he drives all the time. There's no way Abbas he can call. There's a, there's a group of Muslims, they call me only when they are driving. So they cannot read and they cannot answer. He called me, he says, I want to refute me. The second I show him the hadith, he says, I am driving. He turned the engine right away when I said to him, read. What about this? Let us uh, show you a different, different story. What about the Prophet is ordering his followers to give the women, to give their breasts to a stranger? To a strange man. Have you ever heard of such a crazy stuff? A woman, she came to the Prophet and she said, there's a guy in our house, which our my husband, he don't like, you know, his look in his face, which, you know, is a, is a man, he's jealous. The husband is jealous. So the Prophet, he said to her, the Prophet, now he is going to give her a solution for the jealousy of her husband because of a strange man who is with them in the house. The Prophet said, suckle him. Suckle what? What? suckle him she said how I can suckle him and he is a group of men and here you notice that Muhammad is the devil what do you mean suckle him a woman she is complaining that her husband is jealous from a man who lived with him in the house maybe a servant or a slave and then you say to her give him your boobs is that what's all the problem and he's a man I mean, he's not a baby. When he suckle, he will suckle what exactly? The woman, she is not. She is not. A, she, she is not. A, uh, she did not deliver a baby. I mean, do you think women they have milk all the time? Even God don't have milk all the time. Suckle what exactly? He will suckle her nipples for what? And after he suckle her nipples, what that will do? That will make the husband not worry and not jealous no more. Actually, me, myself, I was, but too bad nobody want to support me in this project. I was thinking to open drive through in Las Vegas for suckling. I mean, that would be a great business. You bring some women, and we make a hole in the windows. Uh, let me draw that for you. But I hope nobody will steal my project, because this is like, I have copyright over it. By the way, it's registered already with the government. All right? So... Uh, you know what we what we can do if uh, you guys uh, support this idea according to the prophet this is the wall and we make windows like this okay in the wall okay this, this is very small wall, windows because those women they are going to have a big ones we will not hire women they have a small one sorry if you are thinking to to work for, uh, with us it have to be big and you can put silicone I don't care yeah, but uh, we cannot hire you if you have a small ones Business is business. Don't tell me I'm a friend of somebody. I don't care. Okay? Business is business. So, here, a window in the wall. Another window. Like, many windows, you know? And we will make a small window for the one who like it small. Smaller. All right? And those are the nipples. And that will make it halal. More than the prophet, because the prophet, he did not say, like, make your boobs coming out of a window. No, you have to sit in her lap. Here is more conservative, because he would not even see the women. Oh, what he would see nipples. He drive it through. He put his mouth there. And he have to do it 10 different times. So we will give you full membership for 10 days suckling for $100. Do we have any customer? This is a religion. And you are talking about shaitan. Muhammad is the shaitan. This is the teaching of Satan. This guy is making fun of you. He don't respect you. So Muhammad, he says to you, cover, cover your women, but let them give their nipples. So we can shake their hands, but we can hold their breast and we can suck it. Not only that, Aisha, uh, she used to Anyone, when, uh, since Muhammad, he taught this teaching, which, by the way, is a Quranic, but the, the goat ate it in the Quran. 
So Aisha, since this uh, uh, story came, she used to ask, uh, her nieces to nurse anyone who want to meet her. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Yeah, this one will do. Look at this guy. This guy, he wanted to, to meet Aisha. He want to see Aisha. He have an issue to talk to her. And now Muhammad is dead. Aisha, she became, you know, 20 years old. Hmm? 20 years old. The husband, Muhammad, he died when she is 18. So this guy, he want to see Aisha. Look what Aisha, she was practicing. Yahya related to me from Malik, from, 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 from. That's the following. That Aisha, the mother of the believers, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister. So he want to see Aisha. She told him, no, go and nurse from my sister, Ummu Kathum. So Ummu Kathum, she was working as a secretary. Any man when I enter upon Aisha, he have to suckle Ummu Kathum. Let us draw that. This is a table here. This is a table. This is office table. Okay. I told you I'm very, very good in drawing. You don't believe me. Hey, it's okay. Here we go. And here in the other side, this is the sister of Aisha. The sister of Aisha. She is wearing hijab, brother, and she is a very, very conservative Muslim woman. And those are her legs. The guy Yahya, he want to meet Aisha. Aisha, she told him, go and suckle from my sister. So now this guy Yahya, he have to lay down on her lap. Uh, we will call Yahya Mr. Green. So here now, Mr. Green, uh, the, the green is not working. It's not good. I think we need something different. <clears throat> uh, we will make his head yellow. So here now, this is his head, and I will draw the rest of his body. Wait, and uh, the, the, the drawing is coming. I cannot draw everything one, uh, one time, one shot. So now he is laying down in the table and his legs is coming down, like you know, in his legs, you know, this his legs. Huh? And now he is sucking the breast of the sister of Aisha. And the purpose of this wisdom, so he might be able to see Aisha. I am truthfully, now I became a Muslim. I don't know how many people they would love to suckle nipples and convert to us now so anyone want to see Aisha he have to suckle her ten times not only once he have to suckle her sister because Aisha supposedly she is she cannot do it you know she is busy women so go and suckle my sister so if you suckle the sister of Aisha that will make that will do according to Aisha yes suckle my sister look so, suckle him ten times so that he can come to see me. <laughs> and you are telling me that there is a devil? This is the devil himself. Ten times? Tell me, what about two? Huh? Where is the Muslims? And this is additional reason that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. This is this is a person who's making fun of those people who fabricate things just for fun. This is not a prophet of God talking. This is the devil. And not only that, when he said to the woman, suckle him, he laughed and his teeth came out like a Dracula.
And by the way, those verses, which is about sickening for adult, it used to be in the Quran, but sadly, a goat did eat them. Yet the Muslims, they claim that uh, Quran is preserved. The verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult 10 time was revealed and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death and a tamed sheep came and ate it. Yet the Muslim, they claim that the Quran is the only book is preserved. Is a go if a goat ate the Quran, and now we cannot find those verses. And trust me, I don't believe that the goat ate the verses. I think the Muslims who ate it, because they are ashamed of it. Because, listen to this, if the goat ate the verses, and the Muslim, they knew the verses, so who cared about ate the verses? Write the verses again. Correct? If the goat ate the verses in the paper, Okay, write it again. The goat ate the, the verses, did not eat the Muslims. So why the verses are not there? But they had no paper. How this is? No, they had, they had. You know, they had. Uh, you know, they, they, they have their own forms of uh, things they write in. And the goat ate anything, actually. Anything you put in the front of the goat, she will eat. Even plastic. Same time, when you say that this hadith can be wrong, it's not, as you see. Secondly, okay, forget about this hadith. The other hadith says, yes, that there is a stoning to death, there is verses, there is adult, there is breastfeeding for adult. It's sahih. Where are they? Forget about this hadith. Where we can find the verses? But obviously, this guy, he was making fun of the Muslims. And, you know, whatever he's saying, people, they have to obey. Anyway, I think we had enough for today. The video is getting longer. Uh, please don't forget to download the video. Share it with your friends. The video will stay there for a few hours only. And always to update yourself with the videos, which is was here and is missing. You can go to my page in Patreon or you can search for the same title in YouTube and you will see people who load the video again. Search like you change the filter in YouTube to be like uh, to be sure that this is a video made in the last 24 hours. So search for let us say now the video name uh, three reason that Allah cannot be God and Muhammad not a prophet. So search for that and when you search in the search engine filter choose filter last 24 hours. This way you guarantee you will not get an old video, all right? And then you can watch the video again. As simple as that. And uh, subscribe for those who they are posting my video. They deserve your support and they are doing a good job, which not all of us is doing, all right? So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if any of you is interested to do the company we told you about, especially Muslims, the breastfeeding for adult, 10 time, um, we can open license. And I think Trump, he will support that and he will speak about it in the Fox News. He will say today, we have a businessman from Arabia. They agree to open a special business for, breast, for breastfeeding for adult in Las Vegas. And uh, hey, hold on, we have a Muslim here. He's a... Uh, 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 Muslim, uh, uh, truth, truth, you want to call me, hold on. Yes, truth, where do you go, man? What happened? Yo, can, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Even the angels and the shaitan, he hear you too. <laughs> so, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Uh, uh, what you mean, what happened? Well, I was asking you when Allah, he appointed shaitan for Muhammad yes. and for Muslims. Yes. Okay. Are yeah. those shaitans working for Allah or they are doing by their own? So, so uh, when Allah appoints these shaitans, right? Hmm. 
It was it was after the challenge. It was doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. After the and this is not the point. Actually, I will go with you after the challenge. No this problem. Is this is listen, listen. No problem. No, my friend, matter. my friend. Yeah, how the, how they are the challenging the Allah? Hold on, hold on. If it was before the challenge, it would be have, have different circumstances. Okay, listen, listen, listen. When the challenge was accepted, then he appointed those devils. This was just a first part of the all, challenge. Okay, okay. Well, first of all, there's no challenge. You can show me the verses, and we will laugh. Secondly, you will see. Let us say I challenge you. <laughs> and then and then you appoint me this please speak as an adult you know i talk to you in respect right yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, I, I appoint yeah. you i appoint you and you accept my appointment so how there's a challenge between us you accept i appoint you i appoint you to go right now to washington dc and you accept that's many work for me you are not challenging me you just accept i appointed you i am the one who appointed you who is the one who appointed shaitan to the prophet allah so who is the one in charge of the shaitan allah who is the one is obedient? The then we all also give the time. Time so when the appointment is happening. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. When, doesn't matter. Shaitan is a shaitan. Okay. It's, it's, oh, hold on. Is shaitan is an angel or is shaitan at this moment? At this moment, when Allah He appointed shaitan, is he a good person or he's a shaitan still? So what Allah wanted is Allah hmm. wanted um, the humans to have free will, and for this they needed repentance when they sin. Okay. Hold so on. Use it, uh, hold on. Hold on. Source. What, yeah. what, what do you mean repentance when they sin? Isn't it hadith says that Allah He wrote the sin of Adam for him before He created him? Yes. Okay. Because so, He wanted that so to happen. And okay. He so Allah, to okay. He, Allah He wanted you to do commit sin. No. Yes. So we could repent. He, he wanted Adam okay. to repent. So look, at, Allah, guys, look at the Allah, logic. Look. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me let me finish. Let me finish, and then you go. So Allah said in the hadith, He said. Um, the sin entered the world. If it was not, if Adam didn't sin and didn't repent, he would make another creation. Right. Okay. We will yes. we, we will show this hadith because exactly. because this hadith will prove will prove to us that Allah is a shaitan. Guys, look what he said. He said <laughs> that if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. Correct. Did you say that? What do you mean? Say again. The hadith you quote for me, it's saying, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. Is that correct? He will create you. He won't create you. No, he will destroy you. But we weren't in existence. And he will replace you with people who commit sin. Is that correct? Who, uh, people who commit sin and repent. It doesn't matter. So you have to commit sin. Otherwise, Allah will be angry. Correct? He knew Adam would create uh, sin. No, 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 no. Read, read the hadith. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. It's not about. It's not about. He know. He wrote the destiny of Adam forty years before he created him. Yes or no? But he didn't mean that if Adam didn't sin, that he would create another creation. Okay, okay. Let us see. Read, read the hadith. Okay, then read the hadith in the screen. Read the hadith in the screen. Let me open the screen then, brother. I respect you, man. Inshallah, if you find the truth, your name would change to uh, Christian Muslim. I became a Muslim already, my friend, because I, I, I made an order in Amazon for four women. You you changed the uh, prince to king, Muslim king. Uh, yeah, and then we would do breastfeeding for adults all over, me and you. We go and we, uh, we take women and we do breastfeeding. Okay, now read read the hadith for me. All right, let me read further. Hmm. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, so uh, by him in whose hand is my life, mm. if you were not to commit sin, Allah would we uh, sweep you. Mm. Oh, this is the Quran, huh? uh, 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 my friend. Read, oh, read, and explain. Let us laugh together. Right, 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 mm. right, 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 mm. right, right. <clears throat> it's, it's not cool that you, like you're putting heavy stuff on me, I, you know. Uh, right. So uh, now you want to cry? You know, you know, you, know, you, you call me to refute me. Now you want to cry? What heavy stuff? This is very light. It's very simple. It says if you don't commit sin, what Allah will do? He would uh, sweep you out of existence. Okay. Is that logical? Is that right? Is that is, is that is that fair? Now, this is just a this is just a, like um, he didn't mean this. It was ah, like Allah, he said that, but he don't mean that. He means something else. What he meant? It's like a father saying to his uh, wife, if the baby didn't come out of you, we would make another one. Ah, hey, baby, come out, baby. Baby, what do you mean come out? Then I'll come out of you. <laughs> Is that a garage? What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, Allah saying, if you don't commit sin, I will destroy you. 
So what the reason to destroy you? Not committing sin. He want people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. Your God Allah is mentally ill. He have an echo problem. He like people to say, please Allah, please forgive us. So if they do not commit sin, they will not say, please Allah, forgive us. So he want people to say commit sin so they can kiss his ass and kiss his shoes. Please forgive us. So Allah, he in favor of people who commit sin. He don't like people who they are good and not sinners. So well, because he didn't uh, want the creation to be uh, having a, uh, what's called a... Uh, uh, free will he want to question to what a free, free will. will hold because on where is the free will here we go hold on the those if, people if, the, hold on hold on hold on there's no free will hold on are you are you are you are you are you drunk it's here it says if you don't commit sin he will destroy you here is the free will i don't want to commit sin allah will destroy me if they don't commit. so there's no free will he is saying he is saying he is saying the opposite he, he will destroy you if you don't commit sin not the opposite where is the free will and now he will replace us with people who commit sin so and and here by the way this is a proof of islam to be false because why allah he destroys supposedly the people of noah but it doesn't say in general it only Answer me, please. Specific why general. allah when he why it allah then, why allah why allah okay why allah, hold on why allah it's destroy the why allah destroy the people of noah noah you mean uh, when the ark happened right yeah because they were wicked yeah they were wicked Hmm. Okay, but Allah here is saying, I want you to be wicked. No, it says Adam, the specific Adam, not not the world. What After Adam? Adam, he wants people to repent. That's what why, Adam? What uh, Adam? No, no, no. This is about the. Uh, he's talking to the people. If you were not, oh, uh, you are not commit sin. He will replace you with people, people, not a man. This is not about Adam. Same time. Uh, no, but if Adam sins, then he's the sins who also sin. Uh, so you believe now in the in the original sin? Yes, but I believe it's the original repentance. It's not the original <laughs> sin. It's the original. Okay, let me repentance. ask you. Let me ask you. Adam, he commits sin. How Allah he forgive him? When? Uh, what you mean? How Allah give forgive him? How Allah he forgive him? Did Allah forgive him before he kick him out from heaven, or after? Uh, after. After. No, no, oh, before, before. Before, so why he kicked him out from heaven? <laughs> to the world, <laughs> <Because of> the <laughs> guys. Allah, Adam, he he looked at the, uh, the uh, up to the sky. He saw the throne of Allah and written the name of Muhammad. He said to Allah, "Please, Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad." Allah said to uh, Adam, "What? How you know about Muhammad? I did not even create Muhammad yet." Adam, he said, Allah, when, Allah when Adam I saw, hold on, saw hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me tell the story. Adam, he said, Allah, I saw the name of Muhammad in your chair, and by that, I know he must be very dear to you. Huh? Alhamdulillah, yeah, he saw the name of yeah. Muhammad. Yeah, okay, why the, okay, so Adam, he said to Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. How Adam, he speak Arabic, he can read. Allah made him read. Of course, ah, Allah made so him he, speak. How did he speak? So he is born. He is born right How away. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, but Allah, the, okay, Allah, He forgive Adam. Why Allah He kick him out from heaven after He forgive him? Because uh, this. So this is what happened. Yeah. So Adam uh, sinned, and then Allah wanted this to happen, and then He repented, and this exact, and then He completed the circle. And mm -hmm. then it was time when he repented. That was the time. So Allah kicked Adam from heaven as a punishment or not? Because he repented and that was the thing Allah wanted from us. And now repentance entered okay. the world. So Allah, he and wanted from us to repent. Was, Why he kicked and, him out from heaven? Uh, Abdul, listen. He repent. Why he kicked him out from heaven? We, was made, we wasn't made to, uh, we was made to live in this earth, right? No, because Adam yes. was created in heaven, not in earth. Brother, 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 Allah wanted Allah Abdul, Abdul, listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul. The, the Muslim believe that the, the, the garden of Adam was in the sky, <laughs> not in the earth. I don't care what people specifically believe, brother. No, it's not up to you. Here, the verse in front of you saying that it says, Get down, all of you. So he was where in heaven, in the sky. Get down. Do you see? Listen, does it say get down? Does it say get down? When you say get down to somebody, that means he's up, correct? Yes. Okay, heaven. so get down from where? From this place, from heaven. 
Okay, so he was in heaven. Yes. So heaven is not on the earth, and this, he did not create him to be in the earth because simply he created him in heaven. Otherwise, he would create him in the earth. What does Quran say about the heaven and earth and that the Allah split them together out of each other? What does this have to do with this? No, but this is after Adam created Adam. Adam, the last thing to be created. Adam, according to your prophet, he created him Friday afternoon. Do you want me to show you? And even the Friday. Quran says, the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا and the human being he was ever hasty. Why? Because Adam, when Allah was creating him, uh, Adam, it was sunset. So Adam, he says to Allah, Hey Allah, finish me before the sunset. And then Allah, he finished him fast. This is why Adam is not perfect, according to Muhammad. And this is the verse in front of you. Chapter 17, verse number 11. If we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying the following. Yeah. I want you to read with me. Let me open this. I want you to read the hadith for me. Wait, let me close the window because the many noise of uh, cars and outside is coming. Wait, can mm. give me a second. Yeah, when Allah He created Adam, and be careful when you read this thing because you will get your prophet busted. Are you there? <laughs> what happened? Did he go? Where did he go? <clears throat> yes, truth. When, Hello? when Allah he oh, created, uh, okay. When Allah he created Adam, and where? Can you hear me, brother? Can you hear me, brother? I hear you. When Allah he created Adam, when and where? Um, so Allah created Adam uh, وسلم, in heaven. Mm. So you agree in heaven. Now, read this hadith with me. Yes. Mm. Oh, wait. Let me mute my sound. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Which one? This is Just open. Sahih Muslim. Yes. Mm. Allah the exile. Can you read for me? You got a beautiful mo of voice, mashallah. Uh, yeah, like Jibreel is speaking. Oh, yeah. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday and created the mountains on Sunday and He created the trees on Monday and He created all things in Italian labor on Tuesday and He created the light on Wednesday and then He caused the animals to spread on th Thursday and He created Adam after noon Friday. At the Asal on Friday, the last creation of all, hmm. at the last hour. Of the hmm. What do you think about this? Uh, what should I think about this? Do you agree with this? Yeah, it, it is what it says. Okay, let us go. Let us count me and you. It says here that Allah created the clay in Saturday. This is day number one. Do you agree? Uh, Allah created the clay, yes. All right. That's wonderful. This is day number one. We will type one next to it. And then Allah, He created the mountains in Saturday. This is day number two. Right? Yes. Okay. That's wonderful. And then Allah created the trees on Monday. This is day number three, correct? Yes. And then he created entire labor on Tuesday. This is day number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. This is day number five. Yes. All right. And then he created the animals in Thursday. This is day number six. Yeah, what, are you, what are you trying to do with Hold the... on, hold on. You will see what I'm trying to do. Hold on. You said I have a beautiful voice, right? Hmm? Yes. And Allah created Adam in the day no. of a Friday. Yes. That is seven. Yes. And you said you agree with this. Are you sure you still agree? Yeah. 
But isn't it the Quran says Allah created everything in six days and then in the in the day number seven he went to the sky and he rest? He sat in the chair. Um after Asr on Friday, the last creation of the last hour of the hours of Friday. Huh? Because animals split into great and peace be born after Asr on Friday seven. Hmm. Muhammad here, you're, you're a prophet Muhammad here is doing poo poo. But is this, uh, is this Sahih? Yeah, this is Sahih, this is Sahih Muslim. It's called Sahih Muslim. The book name is Sahih Muslim. So imagine the the, 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 the book name is Sahih and it's not Sahih. So, so, so you got the um, Al Quran Kareem, right? It's 100% correct what we believe, uh -huh. and then you got the hadith, which is 50%. Okay, I want to go, I want to go to the Quran. Okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Is false. okay, so if the, if the hadith contradict the Quran, is false. Uh, that specific one, yes. Okay, well, the, the Quran says you do muta, the hadith says don't do muta no more. Which one you take? Wait, what? Quran says. Oh, uh, hmm. no more, no more. That's me like no ah, more. No more. Uh, okay, okay. I will go with you. Let's so, say don't do okay, it. Okay, so Let's say don't the, do uh, we take more. always, we should take always the Quran over the Hadith. Do we agree? Yes, but if the Hadith says no more, then you have okay, uh, hold on. something about hold on. the running. In the Hadith in front of us, Allah created the light in Wednesday. Allah created the man according to the Quran. Which one Allah created first? The, the, the stars or the trees and the mountains? You tell me. No, you tell me. You are the Muslim, not me. My name is not Abdul. It's you, Abdul. No. I want you to um, give da'wah to yourself, brother. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm making thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam every day. The question is for you. I want an answer. Which one Allah created first? The stars, the sky, or the earth, and whatever in it. The trees, the water, the animals, or the stars. Which one Allah created first? Anything. He can create anything what he wants. This is not the question. You see, you have to answer the question. You see, this This is what happened now. You are scared to answer. According to your God, if we go right now to Google, you can search Google, search Google. Which one Allah created first? All right, all right. Give me a second, brother. Mm. Okay, give me a second, brother. Let me see. And this, hmm. <clears throat> are you there? Yes, yes, I'm not running. Don't, don't be. Uh, I'm not running. Okay, no, you cannot run. So Where you will go? I will send Jibril after you. He will squeeze you three times like the prophet, and no mayonnaise will come from you. <laughs> brother, brother, so I, I type in Google uh, yeah. equation of Allah, you know, but I can't find it. If you maybe uh, mm. bring it out, it would be better. Okay, I will search for you. Look like you are in purpose trying not to find anything. Is I that the case? Find the proof. I have the truth, inshallah. I want to spread the truth, man. Okay, let us see if you really you want the truth or not. Okay. <clears throat> In chapter, I want you to open with me. Chapter two, uh, my keyboard. I think I need to change my keyboard. In chapter 2, verse number 29, read on the screen with me, please. Yes, yes. Okay. It says the following. I will put it for you on the screen. It is he who created for you that is all that on earth. And then he went to the heaven and he made them seven skies. What does that mean? Wait, 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 um, yeah. <clears throat> he it is who created for you all that on earth, and then he Israel rose over towards the heaven and made them seven heavens, and he is the all know of everything. Hmm. Which one created first? 
for you. Oh, made them in seven heavens. I know what. No, it's a clear in front of you. Which one Allah created first? Wait, let me go to the live. Uh, what do you mean? It says in seven, it doesn't say the first day. It says he created everything for you on earth, and then, then, what then mean when you say then? Then he made seven heavens, and then he goes over towards the heaven and made them seven heavens. Okay, so which one, the, which one is the one finished first? The earth, the yes. earth, okay. If we go to this verse in the Quran here, you will see Allah saying something strange. Well, I don't get it. Does this verse say, uh, no, I'm sure it does say. You want to take your word back? I will help you. Okay, hold on, hold on. What? what? Does it does say the earth is before the heaven created? Doesn't say? Okay. Does it say the earth is the created before the heaven? Uh, okay, we will confirm that in different verse. In this chapter, chapter 41, verse number 9, it says Allah the one who created the earth for you in two days, correct? Where? Chapter 41, verse number 9. So yes, do, do you... What mm -hmm. is it hard? Okay, two days, and two then, days. and then after that, what he did? The second thing he did is he placed the mountains in the top <laughs> of the earth. Correct? Yes. Okay. So the second thing is he placed the mountain. The third thing is, he what he did? He put the sustenance of the dwellers, which means the trees, the grass, etc. Mm. All those things, and then all of this took him four days. Mm. Okay. So two days plus four days, how many? Six. Okay. And then he went to the heaven and then it was a smoke, which means there's nothing, smoke. And yeah. then he said to the earth and the heaven, come both willingly or unwillingly, which is very funny. And then he completed and finished them, their creation as seven heavens. So, so, so for the, and uh, then hold on, and then hold on. And then yeah, it's wrong. It will quick. the it's last short, thing, no, no, no. The last, the last thing Allah He did was He created the stars. Correct? Yes. The last thing is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how in this verse here in the Quran, Allah is saying the opposite? Let us go to the different verse of the Quran, and we will. Can, see. I, can I explain? Can I explain in just two minutes? In explain. One go minute, ahead. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. okay. Go ahead. All right, brother. Hmm. So, so. It says so. Let me let me bring it like this as yeah, story. Mm. So uh, let me say I'm 28 years old. Mm. I've been playing football, not mm. soccer, but I mean the football. You know, soccer. Mm. What you guys call soccer mm. for 22 years, 22 years, mm. and I've been playing basketball for 18 years. Mm. So if I add that up, it says 40. But I said I'm 28. Mm. So I'm not say like it could be in the same time also. Could also be my friend that will work if you are not saying then do you see the word then you speak english don't you yeah well, if we well. change even if we change the translation it says then after that because in arabic it says clearly after that so here thumma thumma stawa ila brother, brother, then, can you bring the, the arabic of this verse and tell me if it really says then because I, i'm a there we go. I'm kurdish man I, I don't know arabic man. no problem you I are a, awesome. you are a kurdish here we go it says thumma yeah, it's so bad. there's a muslim he is an arabic teacher he says in his video thumma is a word which mean something happened while after long after not right away so thumma that's mean then after that which means long after that or a while after that these things happen and even your muslim translation is saying that correct mm, yeah okay. so when we say then that's mean the last thing was it was what creating the stars correct yeah okay if we go here in this chapter chapter 79 and we read it from verse number 28 or verse number 27 
Are you more difficult to create or the heaven that he constructed? He raised it high and he has equal order for it. It is night has covered and with darkness afternoon, you know, which mean he, uh, he, he gave it a light, you know, he created the light. The translation is kind of funny. And after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he made the water. And after that, he did put the mountains. But this is totally the opposite from what he said in the previous verse. In the previous verse, Allah created the earth first. And after that, he put the mountains. And after that, he made the water and substance. And after that, he finished from the earth and he went to the heaven. And after that, he made the day. And after that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he made them seven heaven. Actually, this one should be moved to the last. And then he created the stars. So which one of them is correct? You said to me, if a hadith contradict the Quran, we reject the hadith. But this is Quran contradicting Quran. We go back here, chapter forty-one. Chapter forty-one. Mm. Your prophet talking. Allah created the earth in two days. Yeah, yeah. In two days, then He placed their mountains. We go to the other one. Allah created first the 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 the, the sky. He finished the sky. He made it rise above. He made the day and the night, which means the stars are made. And then after that, he went to go to work in the earth. And after that, he put water. And after that, he would mountain. But here it is the opposite. The first thing he created, the earth in two days. And after that, he put the mountains. And after that, he put uh, sustains for, for the earth. And after that, he went to the sky. So which one? I'm getting black. I'm getting deaf man. after 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 yes I know but brother we were talking about Adam sallallahu alaihi wasallam my uh, friend my friend no we are talking about the stupidity no 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 I mentioned to you I mentioned to you Adam you said to me no 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 we are talking about Adam hold on you see you are you are going crazy now you are going panic yes listen the reason we jump here the reason I we, the reason we jump here because you said to me if a hadith contradict the Quran we reject it I'm showing you that all the Quran contradict the Quran. So we did not change the topic. So which one Allah created first? Adam, the stars, the earth, the water. What kind of God? You don't remember which one he created first? <laughs> did you decide to leave Islam? Oh, brother, um, um, what brother? What, 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 what? Isn't it clear? Be honest with me. Isn't it a clear contradiction? Even, even a donkey, he will see it. And I'm sure you are not a donkey. You are a horse. At least for now. <laughs> so, what you will do? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? The Quran says, if this book is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. Correct? Did he say that? I want to be a lion. You want to yeah, be a lion? This, this verse that as long you are yes, a Muslim, you are as long you are a Muslim. In the the maximum, you will be a lizard. So answer me because here we go. You are you are trying now to be a lizard. You are hiding between the rocks and you don't want to answer. It's a clear evidence that Muhammad is a bringing contradiction, claiming that Allah. <laughs> you guys talk about lizards and stuff, man. What do you mean by lizard? What I mean by lizard, your prophet he says the lizard are the enemy of Allah and they try to burn to burn Abraham. So now you are trying to what? burn Abraham. Yeah, I can show you the reference. You want to show you? <laughs> what? A lizard does not lizard. What? You talk about lizard. Yes, and don't change, don't change the topic first. We will go to the lizard. The Quran says. Lizard, lizard. The, the Quran says right. why they cannot consider the Quran, why they cannot understand it. If this book is not from Allah, they will find a lot of contradiction. Correct. So the Quran told that, us that, if this book is not from Allah, that, is not from the true God. That, that's a falsification hmm? test for us who don't know the Arabic language. To I know Arabic that, language. Stop playing the game. And who care about the Arabic language now? This is your Muslim translation. There's no way they will. It says in front of you, which first, which second. Even this one, you need Arabic now. Will I speak Arabic? Bring me somebody to speak Arabic. Stop lying to yourself. You see, I, I am speaking to you, and I'm, I'm expecting from you to be a respectful person. But you are not respecting yourself, because you, what does this have to do with Arabic and English now? We can read the interpretation. You can do whatever you wish. And this is your Muslim I asked you what translation you like. You told me it doesn't matter. So now, suddenly, the translation does matter. Mm. So what we will do? 
how this book can be from God, but this God, he did not remember which one he created first. Yeah, the, 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 <clears throat> if that's true, that's a contradiction then. It's true, I'm showing you, you and you, you know what, I want you to take a week after you go now, and uh, check it, and about the, the, about the, the lizard, here we go. Your prophet says, Allah apostle to, to order to kill Salamander. Okay, why Allah prophet, he ordered to kill Mr. Salamander? He said, because Abraham, he was, uh, the Salamander, he is the only animal who was trying to burn Abraham. All the animals, they were like putting water in Abraham to try to cut the, the fire, except Mr. Salamander. Lizard. Oh, oh, when uh, Ibrahim was ah, throwing fire. Oh, yeah. And really, you believe that Salamander trying to burn a prophet? <laughs> Do you really believe in this? I want to say something, but maybe you uh, think I'm crazy or something, man. You are crazy already. You are a Muslim. I let him say this. Let, let me say it. Let me say it. Okay. So, maybe Satan used a salamander. Ah, no, but your prophet he says kill salamander. He did not say kill Satan. So, this little tiny animal, which is not even uh, two inch, he was uh, burning uh, Abraham, and now we have to do jihad against him. Oh my god. Hey, that, that, that's scary, man. Hmm. I don't. Looks like a snake. This is not a snake, this is a salamander, a small, tiny one. This yeah, the with, with hands? It can, it can, you can put the it in your hand, you know, they are, they are very small. What? Oh, these animals are poisonous. It's not poisonous, salamander is not poisonous, what are you talking about? No, that, that's a different one. Hmm. Now, uh, tell me, why, you know, and even your prophet, he says, if you kill it from the first uh, arrow, uh, uh, or first shot, uh, Allah will give you will give you extra uh, even the uh, the jigo. Do you like the the jigo? Jigo. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Our apostle he ordered to kill the, the this this insect. Why? This uh, this animal. Why? Well, in one in one strike, arrow. Yeah, not arrow. I mean one 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 shot. If you shoot him from the first shot and you kill him, like you use your shoes, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Why Allah will give you extra reward if you kill it? Oh, 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 maybe, uh, oh, this comes in my mind. Uh, so it will feel less pain, but if you kill him in two shots, that means ah, he's suffering. Two, okay, but he said, but he said, he, no, he told us already why. He said because he tried to kill Abraham before God. The purpose of killing this animal because he's trying to burn Abraham. <laughs> Have you ever so was, be honest? Be honest. That, that be honest with me. Have Have you ever Have you ever have a fight with a lizard? A lizard man. I had a gecko mm -hmm. when I was uh, younger. Mm -hmm. like, uh, many years. Did he try to burn you alive because he's evil? No, it was cool. It was cool. I was. So uh, why like Why the prophet he want to kill him? Why he ordered to kill it? It was cool. Uh, no, but it, it doesn't say gecko. It, it says that here we go. In the desert, man. Here we go. Here read we go. It. Read it. No, no, no it's a different animals. Okay, them. okay, here read it. No okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, okay. Do you see it? Do you see it? This one. Uh, all of them. All of them. Here we go. Not all, of them, not all of them because those are different in Arabia. My friend, okay, a uh, different in Arabia. Want, it's, oh, a it's a lizard. It's a lizard. Secondly, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, let me ask you. Uh, yeah, can a lizard burn a human being? No. Okay, how this happened then to this uh, guy go or lizard? He was burning Abraham. He didn't burn Adam. He just prevented Adam. No, it like says Abraham it says saved. here. This is he Sahih Bukhari. <laughs> this is Sahih Bukhari. It says that the salamander he blew. The fire on Abraham. Does it say that? Uh, blew the fire. Yeah, because if hmm. can a, can a salamander blow fire on you? Uh, no, man. That's only some Chinese uh, shit, man. Hmm. A yeah. dragon. Did, did you say shit about your prophet <laughs> words?
No, 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 stuff. No, this was you said. No, no, I just I'm, heard you. I just heard you. Don't deny. Read with me the story here. A woman entered upon Aisha, and her has uh, and her hand was an iron uh, footed stick. Who was the one who had that? Aisha. She said, "What is this?" Aisha. She said, "It is for those gago, because the Prophet of Allah told us that they were nothing that did not try to extinguish the fire." For uh, uh, for Abraham, except with, of the, this animal, so he told us to kill it. Do you see it? Mm. All the animals they start putting yeah, water yeah. in Abraham, except the guy go. So what we would do now? Do you believe in this or you don't? And look, the story repeated all over. I see this, this is the first time I see this. Mm. Hey, always when you talk to me first time, each time. And now, okay, let's go back to zero. So Allah did not remember which one he created first, the earth or the heaven, the sky or the no, earth, we, the stars or the water, the mountains or the stars. We can talk about Adam. We can talk about Adam. That was zero. I called you because of the no, Adam no, topic. I no, didn't know no, about no, this topic. Problem. I got to ask my okay. scholars, man. Take I care. Take care. So you don't want to answer. I got You are just being dishonest. And there's no point of being talking to someone as being dishonest. I gave you all the time, all the attention, I'm being patient with you, but now you are acting like a kid. It doesn't matter what we are talking about, you are the one who says to me, if something contradicts the Quran, we will not take it. I just showed you that the Quran contradicts the Quran, because you are the one who mentioned that. Trying to escape the truth. Alright? Very simple way to prove Quran to be a false book. And this God, you do not remember which one he created first. The stars or the mountains and the trees and the water. Very simple. All right? So you don't want to be honest. Why I wanna why I wanna talk to you? There's no point. You can lie. Are we going to lie to each other like until tomorrow or next year? I'm not I'm not here to lie. I don't want to do that. This is not my game. I say something, I show the proof right away. All right? You know, you know obviously that this is this is stupid. Your prophet is fabricator, he's a liar, he's not truthful, and you don't want to uh, to face the truth, this is your business. Uh, stay as a Muslim. Stay believing in the lizard who want to kill people and burn them. Lizard is very useful a creature if you have it around your home, because he will kill for you all harmful insects. He will not hurt you. Very good. He will kill spiders, he will kill a fly, he will eat mosquitoes. Why you want to kill the lizard? That is stupid. Yeah, I'm tired. I did not sleep since yesterday. I hope in the morning I try to go live, but then I said I, f I felt like my head really is heavy uh, because my head is heavy, by the way. It's full. It's not like a head of uh, Muhammad. There's nothing there except images of women and men. And speaking about images of men and women, what about this hadith here? Let's find it. Muhammad he claimed that in the heaven of Allah, there is a there is a market, and this market there is nothing to sell and nothing to buy, except images of men and women. This is a prophet of God, Playboy magazine, and if a man he desire. To have sex with any of those images, he jump inside the image and he have sex with it. The customer is a man. The magazines are what? Images of men and women. Men and women. Who is the customer? A man. Which means Muhammad is teaching us that we will be bisexual. The man is, if he like an image, image of what? image either of a man or image of a woman if you don't believe me here we go it's in front of you images of men and women who is the customer a man only men are the customer this is this is islam yes this is islam anyway i'm done for today my friend i want to say guys thank you very much don't forget to download the video share it with your friends because the video will not stay here for long. And don't forget 
uh, you can cut it pieces as you wish. You do whatever you wish with it. Cut it pieces, topic. Like now, this uh, this hadith here we spoke about. You can make a video for three minutes. Yeah, you can uh, cut the conversation of this guy and post it. Sh show the world how stupid this cult. Do help us. Help us so we can help you. I'm doing my part. I'm doing, actually, I'm doing work. I mean, it's really extremely tiring. I, I, uh, how many hours since yesterday I spoke live on air? I mean, my day is gone. Seriously. I did not even sleep. So, and even after I finish, I go and work in my books. And, I, you know, we have the translation for uh, Deception of Allah in Russian is done. So we hope soon is going to be out. And the Spanish book for tr translation for Quran and science. Uh, I'm working in the cover and uh, soon will be out. So I hope things, you know, God is good. And the Lord, he provides us always with the good ones who support us. And they do the good work. And, uh, you know, God is great. You know, we are being successful. People leave in Islam left and right. They try to deny this guy himself, he himself now, he is facing a very big dilemma in his life. He saw it, he know it, and he is not a stupid. He knew that Islam is a stupid. So for how long you will resist? A day, a two, a week? Try. You just saw it with your own eyes. You try to kill it, you cannot. You cannot. The truth will set you free. And the only truth is my Lord, the Messiah. This is garbage, what we see in front of us. This is nothing but satanic. This is have nothing to do with God. God is not going to print magazines for sex. God is not a playboy mansion guy. God is holy. This is not holiness. This is garbage. This is a shame. This is sick. How even can you and by the way, anything they don't like, they will say to you, it is da'if. But just to let you know, even da'if is accepted. Because this is why it's called da'if. Da'if, it means it has a rank. It's called da'if, for it has a rank. The one that does not have a rank, they'll throw it away. And that's why they have it in their book. Those are six hadith, six books. as sitta the six authentic books of hadith. And those stories are written in the six authentic books of hadith which means those are the most authentic books for muslims yet anything is embarrassing they will say to you we don't accept it i like that it's a good sign that you are feeling the embarrassment of following muhammad you see i will never say jesus did not say that because nothing of what he said making me feel you know uh, there's no embarrassment to believe in jesus words but you Muslims, because your prophet brought nothing but shame, you keep saying, I don't agree with this. I don't believe in this. This is fabricated. Why? Because it's full of shame. Every verse written, Jesus said, I believe in it. And I will never say, this is not accepted. The second I say that, that's mean I am not a believer. But Muslims are being hypocrite. They are picking up what they like so they can save themselves from facing the truth and the truth is ugly the truth is ugly that Islam is a cult and you are fooling yourself and this God he cannot be God this is a pimp this is a pimp and I will not follow a pimp those who follow God they follow God you know once somebody asked me he says, you've been in America for long, long year, years. So do you go to Strapteza Club? I said, I've never been in one all my life. He said, why? I said, the fleas go to the garbage and the bees, they go to the flower. Everyone goes where he belong. And we belong to the Messiah. This is garbage. The fly will go to this garbage. Everyone goes where he belongs. So choose to be what you want to be and you go where you belong. You belong to Muhammad, this is Muhammad. You belong to Jesus, go to Jesus. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false.
and thank you very much. Bye-bye.